What's up, everybody? Coach Nandy here from Nandy at the Dark with a special daylight edition. What's up, you guys? It's been a couple days. These Facebook streets have been absolutely, positively crazy. Um, so much stuff going on in these Facebook streets. My head is banging, okay? It's a lot. It is a lot. If you think it's a lot being, um, you know, a... Um, uh, follower of the different pages, imagine how it is for people who actually have to go on here every single day and um, and do this and be entrenched in all of this. It's a lot. It is a lot, especially if you um, are a certain kind of person, have a certain kind of spirit. Um, but we're going to get into all of that. What's up, Sun Doggy? You guys, make sure that you um, hit all the feels on your way in. Hi, everyone. The heart what I'm in here and I'm on time. Yep, you on time, my crack. Hit all the hearts, um, the, the thumbs up, the laughy emoji, the shock John. Hit all the fills. Hit them all. They're free 99. Don't be stingy. Mm-hmm. What's up, you guys? We're gonna get into it because it, 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 it's it's just too much going on. You guys hit all the fills. Hit the heart, hit that thumbs up, the laughy emoji, the shock John, the huggy. Hit all the fills. They're free 99. Uh, we're going to get started in here, um, here in just a little bit. I did a little ditty right before I came on. It just um, just came to my mind about Carmen and Tay and uh, what's going on with all the things. Huh? This is what I think it is. You guys say hello to each other and um, hug somebody's neck. We're going to get started right after this little ditty. Make sure you hit all the fills while you're waiting for us to go officially live. Early in the morning, I put burnt bacon on the table and make sure that your coffee has a lot of morphine. They said they don't know what's wrong with you. It's all of the things. But I really think it's all the motherfucking chicken wings. <laughs> what's up, you guys? Let's go ahead and start the show officially. Hey, hey, hey. I'm not your superwoman. I'm not the kind of girl that you can let down and think that everything's okay. What's up, y'all? What's up, everybody? Did you hit the fills or are you just sitting there just looking, lurking? Huh? What you doing? Let me see who hit the fills. You know, it's people who come in here and just like to be lurking and, and, and twerking and shit. Go twerk on your nigga. Don't twerk in here. Huh? That ain't gonna work on me. Um, what's up, y'all? Coach Nandy here from Nandy After Dark. Ciao. It's so much. You can't see the comments? Okay. If you can't see the comments, this is what, what's up, Shell? This is what um has been going around on TikTok. All right. And it does work. Okay. You know, TikTok, you can find just damn near about anything on TikTok. A solution to everything, anything. Do this. Shake your phone, huh? Because Facebook has um has their app program so that, I mean, you guys probably know this. Um, if you have a bug issue, you can shake your phone and it'll bring up like the bug report and stuff like that. They've long since have done that for a long time. But um, this is a bug. So go ahead and shake your phone. Huh? Do this. Just, ooh, just shake it and go out of the live and come back in and all the comments will be there. Huh? That's that's their bug um little technique but every comment will be there after that um tara jones said right on time i was in a bad mood oh my god don't listen you guys Ugh. i know it's a lot going on it's a lot to juggle in the world and you know uh all of that all the things but um you know it's so much that we have to be grateful for too in spite of everything else coach they can't keep your name out there motherfucking mouth who's talking about me now i swear to god i have no idea what you're talking about Who's talking about me now? Huh? Mary Jones, you want to come on here and pitch it? And um, y'all catch me up on a few things because I know enough, but I don't know every fucking thing. Like, I, I definitely don't, um, like, I, I'm busy. I'm very busy, okay? 
Um, let me see. So I don't have time to to get deep down in every single thing going here. What's up, Darcel? Hi, Cynthia. Cynthia, I have your um. Might be. It might be another room. Cynthia, your um your bag ships tomorrow. The one you bought last week, whatever. That ships tomorrow. Um, okay. What's up, Mike Ray? Mike Ray said, I'm packing our sweet life bags right now for our trip. They're all on the bed now, girls. Then put a post a picture in our private group. The private group has been going crazy with all of this craziness that's going on, all of the lies that's out there. It's so many fuck. We're like, what? Listen, I said, if I lie, I'm, I lied about the pictures, huh? Yes. But I'm not going to lie to get somebody else in fucking trouble or to take some heat off of me or to, to put the blame on somebody else that is completely innocent, huh? I'm not going to do that. It's so many lies that's going on on this internet, child. I can't even keep up. I cannot even keep up. It is making my head hurt. What's up, um, Lawanda? It is making my head hurt. Oh, the life roach was talking about me? What the? She ought to be grateful that I haven't lit into her ass. That's what she need to be grateful for. Baby, it is just going to continue. That's it. Because one thing's for sure and two things for certain. Um, you don't even know what the fuck you talking about on anything I ever hear you speak about. Like I was going to, um, last week I was going to go live and um, talk about her wife and um not in a bad way because um i never heard her wife speak before except for like a couple of days or maybe last week sometime she was asking her doing a q and a um the roach was asking her wife if um you know different questions about her um sexual orientation the way she sees herself etc and um i wanted to lend my personal and professional opinion to that conversation huh um, yeah, I thought it was very, very interesting. And the roach was sitting there laughing while her wife is sitting there being serious and having a serious conversation with her. I didn't know anything about it. It was posted in our group. Um, and I'll show you where it was posted in our group because we're going to revisit that clip, that piece. And, um, yeah, I mean, you can't even coach your own wife about her identity, sexual identity, um, orientation, preference. Those are all very different things. And um, during one of my undergrad degrees, one of the courses I took was like psychosexuality, something like that. And I understand completely what her wife was saying, but she couldn't understand it to save her life. So I don't give a damn what you say about me, ma'am. You just trying to, you you starting to get a little piece of coin from Facebook, huh? You starting to get a little piece of coin because Carmen is driving the revenue and the traffic to your page. You don't get organic traffic. Carmen got to post it on her page with all her followers. And then it's like, oh, the roach is live. Let me go over there. But you just posting your own on your own. Nobody's, when you ain't talking about bullshit, um, you don't need, I mean, how many views you get? 30, 40, 50? But you're starting to get a little piece of change. She's starting to get a little piece of change from Facebook now. Um, and so it's addictive to her. All that bullshit she be trying to talk about. Uh, your karma. Karma, karma, bitch, talk about Carmen, 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 bitch, talk about that, huh, the fuck, child, let me pour my water up, let me take this down, because I ain't even been talking about that motherfucking bitch at all, at all, but, you know, that, that, that money start coming in, Ooh. what happens is, people, what's up, Miss, uh, Miss Lot? People get um people get addicted to the money. They get addicted to uh not to the not not just the money. They like the money. She needs the money. She girl, I, I, Lena, I don't know who the fuck you think you playing with. Cause baby, I still ain't told the people about your bullshit ass fraudulent case trying to fucking defraud the government, the USPS out of money for that bullshit accident that they said that you did yourself didn't take uh uh the prudence necessary to protect yourself bitch in other words that you was trying to um initiate a court case by falling on that big ass ass of yours i mean why you did that, that, that that's why the case ain't moved <laughs> the case ain't moved because they looked at the tapes and they saw that big ass ass ain't no way you was hurt ain't no way huh girl 
girl, get the fuck out of my face, Lena. I know you want to go tit for tat and toe to toe because that does drive views and you getting a little piece of change now from Facebook. So you want to keep that change going in. I understand, but bitch, find you something. Didn't you, all these people out here talking about they're going to be reporting you, bitch, and all this other stuff. Worry about that. Don't worry about me. Huh? Because I'm going to fucking talk about crook and took any fucking time I feel like it and to the degree that I feel like it. Who the fuck are you? Bitch, they not angels. <laughs> y'all, y'all, they really be out here putting them that they neck. I can't say neck because they said you ain't got no neck. That, 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 that what they said. You don't have a neck. I was going to say putting your neck on the line for them. They said you ain't got one. Really be out here putting your motherfucking neck or lack thereof on the line for pap and scrap. They not angels. They're not innocent. Their hands are not, are not clean. So why don't you sit over there on your platform and talk about some shit um, that you know, like being a lesbian. That's some shit you can really talk good about, huh? Talk about that, bitch. Wearing them Timu wigs, Tamu. Ooh, ooh, Tamu. Wearing them Tamu wigs. Bitch, talk about how you keep them fluffed. I like how you fluff them out. I like that. Talk about that. Get some tips on how you keep them wigs for. Bitch, leave me out your motherfucking mouth because it ain't going to. What you think it's going to do? Make me stop talking or make me. No, I only do that when I want to for my own purposes, not for you or them. But you never mind. You want it. That's this what you want. You want to smoke because you're getting a little piece of change. You're smelling yourself now. Huh? Ain't that what the old folks used to say? You're smelling your pussy now. Huh? All right. <clears throat> What's up, Miss Macy? Hey, lady. Um, what's up? Sending love from Savannah. My cray, big pie face ass bitch. Oh, we not getting sidetracked with that clown with her bad wig. Oh no, 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 no. We gonna talk about crooked took, huh? This the crooked took show. Um, all right. Let me uh, um, but uh, um, come on. Fuck. I ain't even know that bitch had her mouth on me because I sure haven't had my motherfucking mouth on her. But this is what they like. They like to talk shit and then play like they the victim, which is crazy to me. Mm. That's crazy to me. We're going to revisit a slide since you hoes want to fucking talk. Let me put this up here. Okay. Don't give love. Abstrudio. Don't do it. All right. No stickers, alarms, bells, whistles, exclamation points. I don't like that. All right. It's the professional in me. I don't like cluttered shit on a piece of any piece of uh, correspondence, literature, whatever it may be. Okay. Writings. I don't like it. Um, don't do it. Clutters up the page. And I just don't like it. Uh, we used took over here. I've I've had I've been on Carmen and Tay's ass. Since um, Tay got on the scene in June, I had a small group and that took and take came from the small group. OK, um, and I decided to use the word took because she done took every fucking thing. But we used to go over here and there's a deeper reason behind that, um, which I'm not going to get into. All right. Everybody knows this. So if you're doing it, um, I, I, that's just willful ignorance and your ass will be deleted and or blocked. All right. No BS over here. OK. Keep it cute or get your ass tongue thrashed. Which one you want? Huh? Okay. That's what I thought. Um, Copyright disclaimer. We're covered over here under the 1976 Copyright Act. There are exceptions to copyright infringement. And we're covered legally over here. We do research and study and criticism or review. We don't even have to do all these. We just want. But we also do criticism and review heavy on the motherfucking criticism, bitch. Parody and satires. Oh, we doing a lot of that. The voice is drunk. Came back, bitch. Slime it for now. It's back. Okay. Let me put my picture up here so y'all can see me while I'm doing this. Hold on. Uh, and reporting the news. All of this is the news. And that's what we're doing over here. All right. Okay. We're covered on the Nandy After Dark show. In-house disclaimer. These are allegations. I don't know Carmen or Tay. I don't know if Carmen stole boss ladies' equipment. Huh? I don't know. I don't even know if Carmen really enjoys the double-headed dildo. Maybe it was for somebody else that she was smashing at the house that she was married in, and it really wasn't for her. I don't know. I don't know. I just know I heard that it was under the bed, and that may be true or not be true. I don't even know if that's true. That's allegations, okay? Um, 
non-discriminatory. We don't discriminate. Anybody can get it over here, huh? Any fucking body. Run up and get done up, period. And then hold harmless. All right. Um, Scrappy can't keep her lie straight. Now, I did this back several months ago, okay? This was before I, I lightened up on them, which y'all can, y'all can cancel that. Since y'all motherfuckers want to keep my name in your motherfucking mouth, I don't know why, because I, 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 I've been the lightest. All of these people, it's thousands of people talking about y'all online. I, my voice has been um, the weakest out of all of them in the last several months. But, you know, clearly y'all like the smoking. Baby, y'all know what y'all know I can bring it. So, I mean, this is what you want? Because, yeah, I guess so. All right. Back then, I told y'all Scrappy can't keep her lies straight. She said that she was referred to and treated by a GYN oncologist in her 20s. That was in 1999. Uh, isn't that when she was diagnosed, when she was referred? She said she didn't know cancer could be in different parts of the body. Now, what kind of idiot? I, I didn't know, sweetheart. I really didn't know, sweetheart, that cancer could be in different parts of the body until she became a nurse in 2013. What? Okay, girl. Wasn't she referred to an oncologist for cancer in other parts of her body in her 20s? See my first bullet above. Before she became a nurse? Scrappy, you just be lying. You lying all the fucking time. She say her last surgery was in 2017. She also said she was diagnosed huh, in either 2016 or 2017. She did the surgery to remove the things that had been infested with the cancer. Wasn't she seeing an oncologist, i.e. diagnosed in her 20s? And then finally, a nurse should have zero issues articulating what and when medical procedures were performed on her. Remove the things that have been infested with the cancer. Child, we haven't gotten clarity on anything Tay has said about her health uh, or about anything um, since she's come on the scene. She avoids answers at every turn. She um, fakes shit. Both she and Carmen are master manipulators and, and fucking actresses. Carmen's an actor. She wants to be. And, Car and Tay's an actress. Tay's a thespian. And um, I don't believe anything that comes out of their motherfucking mouth. I do not. Hold on, let me get out of here. I don't believe anything that comes out of her mouth. You guys make sure you hit on all the fills. The heart, hi, Miss Sherry. The heart, the smiley face, da 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 da. Coach, I used her real name by mistake. Cool, I don't care. Don't worry about it, sweet whore. Um, she thinks she knows everything and think took and crook can do no wrong. Right. Worry about, how the fuck do you have so much time, Lena? To be online, first of all, she's writing Carmen's post now. Did y'all know that? Carmen let it slip the other day. Yeah, uh, my courage was she really coaching me because I'm still doing the same things I've been doing all my looking life for fucking up my life. She uh, uh, she said uh, that Lena was answering, logs into her account and answers her emails. I already knew this was the case. Carmen can't fucking function, okay, like a regular adult. I wish the fuck I would. Let someone write anything for me. I write all my own shit, whatever it is. On my websites, I do all my own websites. I write all my own shit. I write all my own posts. I wish I fucking would, huh? So Lena got time to be Carmen's uh, a social media manager now, huh? She's a social media marketing manager and, and, and writing these ridiculously long motherfucking pamphlets for a post. Did y'all see them? We're going to look at a couple of them. Sounding dumb. Because none of the shit, all of the shit that's in there about being a good person, doing this, it, it you should be preaching this to the choir, which will be Carmen and Tay and yourself. What? How do you have time to be online, bitch? You don't have any clients. No wonder you don't. You can't have a, a, a successful practice as you once tried to lie and claim you do. Being somebody's social media content manager. You should be booked and busy, bitch, but you're not because you're your own worst enemy. You think you fucking know something. You don't know shit. You don't know shit. And the things you say don't even be making sense. Nobody takes your ass seriously at the fuck all. Get the fuck off the internet and go and coach your clients, Carmen and Tay, and try to find some clients to work on because you clearly don't have any. You got too much fucking time on your hands. You clearly don't have any. Who will take you seriously?
Mm. Okay. She has handlers. On oh, God, that's exactly what they are. What's up, Miss Megan? She has handlers, and even they can't keep up with the lies. It's a full-time job. It is a full-time. I swear I don't like that word no more. The things. Um, let me see. Hi, Miss Janice. What's up, darling? It's the pills coach. She ran out of the ones from MX. Mexico? Um, child, the Facebook street's been juicy and I ain't been, in, I, I haven't even been in them. I've been busy, booked and busy, revamping my websites and shit, bringing y'all new products. I, oh God, I have, I've not even been checking in. Y'all check in with me and give me tidbits here and there, but, and I see some stuff, you know, y'all post a lot of stuff in our group and I'm grateful for that because that really keeps me, uh, keeps my pul- my finger on the pulse of what's going on. Um, hi, Pat Darty. Miss Pat. Um, let me see. She's so boring. She eating off a crook and took no content. So boring. Definitely. Girl, my page is 90% positive. You a motherfucking lie. Your page is 10%, uh, 90% toxic and 10%, um, you know, just bullshit additional bullshit it's nothing positive on your fucking page because every time you start calling yourself talking about karma karma the law of karma i'm a karma expert i'm a relation expert i'm an expert of all the things bitch tell us what what the things mean huh since you're an expert on shit what is all the things can you tell us that huh girl um, she's a toxic gossip queen. Now, baby, this is the benediction. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. Nobody takes you seriously, Lena. What the fuck you mentioning my name for, girl? This ain't what you want. I mean, I know it is because you want to, oh, I got, oh, this video made $42. Let me go in here and talk some more. See if I can get it up to 62, bitch. And then y'all quick to call somebody a bully. Last I checked, the people who being bullied, they um they're not doing shit. They're in the background living their lives or whatever. Like y'all keep sending for me. Now I do be ignoring bitches when they send for me for a long time, and then when I come back and clap back, it's a problem. They don't remember all the shit that they say, huh? Go volunteer. At your grandson's school or be an advocate for disadvantaged kids is safer. She ain't gonna do that. She too lazy. She lazy as hell. Um, and if you don't want people talking about you, then keep your keep people's name out your motherfucking mouth. Period. But Carmen and Tay, if you think that you helping, I'm gonna talk about them. As I said over here, and then you hear it on um Burnt Lips page. You fucking talk aboutable, bitch. They talk aboutable, not you. Them. They talk that they're internet celebrities. This comes with it. This helps them. Oh God. When when influencers talk about um people who are uh have large followers and large followings, it helps them eat. Carmen and Tay was eating real fucking good when I was going in on them several months ago, last year. They were eating swell, their numbers were up, they were doing well. So it's a double-edged sword. You can't have the criticism, huh? Without the money that comes along with it, without the rewards, you can't have them. You you cannot. You can't have all the chitter chatter and the talk and the groups and pages and people talking about shit, and um and then say, well, I don't want that, but I want I want money attached to it. No, with the criticisms and the groups and the pages and the people talking about you comes the money, the numbers, the status, the clout. All of that comes with it. And they know this, which is why they keep sending for me. They keep sending for the queen. Because I wasn't even fucking with you dusty pussy hoes. Like I used to and like I could. Like you know I definitely could. So all that missed me with that bullying shit because y'all must love it. You clearly love it. She ain't gonna do that. She lazy. She sneak tip hustling off them Rileys. Right. Okay, let's get into some shit, child. 
Um, she said she only liked to have intellectual conversations. She's not an intel like you're not an intellectual person. So okay, that's how her mind works. She said she likes to talk about galaxies, bitch, please, karma and things of that nature. That sounds like some Tay shit, huh? Her client is remedial to the fifth power. Girl, bye. You're you're not an intellectual, okay? And your conversations are, girl, you you know what? You ain't even worth the motherfucking airtime to speak about your ass. About the only reason I'm even speaking on that Tamu ass wig that your ass be wearing, um, is because somebody put it in the comments. I didn't even know, bitch, did you? Because I don't be checking for your ass that you was even talking about me. <laughs> she don't look like Jill Scott. She was. Would she look like fucking Jill Scott, please? Okay, let's get into it. So yesterday was Easter, Easter, and I had a um, Easter headband that I was going to wear, but I didn't, I wasn't online because I was working. I was doing a lot of things. And, oh, no, not things. We ain't using the word things. Um, I was doing stuff, okay? I was working, building my empire, okay? When you don't see me online, please believe that's what I'm always doing. Um, Because otherwise I'd be online making money with y'all, you know? Um, through the views and, you know, pay, Facebook pays me every time I hit that lot and YouTube. Okay. So Carmen said that she was going to feed, feed, like she's taking care of dogs, feed the homeless or not the homeless, uh, battered women and children yesterday at a shelter. Okay. And um, she said she was making ham and all the fixings and all the things. And uh, we were worried because she was running out of time and she was wearing the same clothes back to back for days and shit. You know, she ain't washed that twat. You know how that goes. But if that caress is up there, you know, um, then she might be good. But she's wearing the same clothes multiple days in a row, um, handling food. I mean, that's very trifling, but, you know. And um, so she did go down to the shelter and took a few baskets down there. Nothing like you know, the uh, 60 or 70 baskets we saw in the carts when they were shopping, so-called shopping at Walmart. What the hell happened to all of the things, bitch? Huh? All the baskets, they didn't even look the same. Um, they Let me back up. They collected a, a ton of money for this effort, okay? Because that's what they do. They go on a, they, 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 they claim that they get, they, we give back. I mean, we, we, we do. I mean, we do. I mean, we we it, we just do. We just do. We give back, and uh, we give from our bra strap. You know, we take it right out of Titty City. Let me take this comment down. Hold on. We take we take the uh, we take the money right out of Titty City. You know, we take it out the bra strap, and we pay out our own pockets, not our own bras. And uh, uh, that's what we've been doing, and we don't take money from anybody. Uh, we're going to feed, go out here and feed these little badass kids and their mammies. We're going to feed them at the shelter. I know we ain't supposed to put them on camera, but we're going to put them on everybody on camera. We're going to, to show the shelter location and everything because we don't give a fuck about that because we want some gas hats. And uh, we're going to do this. Uh, my baby, uh, she's in the hospital. We don't know what's wrong with her, but she's having surgery as we speak. They don't know what they're operating on. They just cut her in a random spot and um, they're going to tell us afterwards what they found when they went in there and what they operated on. Uh, we don't know what it is. Oh, she's throwing up right now. <laughs> Ain't heard a motherfucking what? Nothing. Nothing. Oh, no, let me put my phone on. No, just do not just... Ain't heard a... nothing. Or she's throwing up right now. I gotta go. I know I've been on here for 14 hours and I ain't seen a nurse the first, second, third coming here. No doctor. Or uh, her IV is just hanging. It's just hanging outside of her. Uh, it's hanging out her arm. It ain't even in there. You know. Her nerve, her nerve ain't connected to shit. But when they finish this operation, or uh, maybe they'll tell us what was wrong. I got to go because she's throwing up while she is under and while they're doing the surgery. So I got to go in here and I got to clean her up. And then I'm going to run down there to the welfare and, and, and cook the hams. All right. Uh, I got y'all. I, I promise. Y'all just be lying and making up shit as y'all go along. 
And I don't motherfucking like it, okay? Now, I can appreciate. Y'all just be lying. Y'all be fucking lying constantly. Carmen at the hospital on live while your wife battling uh, liabilities, bitch. <laughs> Ciao. Mm hmm. Did she make jasmine rice? Mm -mm. Okay, let's take a look at this video, child. Y'all hit all the feels while y'all in here. Let me see who this one person, Michelle Winchard, Witcher. I'm gonna call you Winch, Michelle Winch. I think it's Winchard, but I'm gonna shorten it. Call Michelle Winch. Why did you hit that angry face, Miss Winch? Huh? <laughs> Girl, your ass, you in danger. Um, what's up, Bernadette? Girl, hey, lady, you got your overnight bag. Tell us how you like it. All the bags have already went out for the people who ordered them last week, and most of them already got their bags. So, um, okay, let's take a look at something because, uh uh, let me see. This right. Excuse me. Mm. I got the hiccups, child. All right. The fuck you talking about? You you can't cry a victim and cry and, and claim somebody fucking with you and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. But to shut up a fucking car, you talking about them constantly and sending for them, which is crazy to me. What? What in the world? Hold on. Facebook is, uh, they must be about to scrap Facebook or something, child. They must be. Early in the morning, I put perfect on the table. And make sure that your coffee cup is full of morphine. They said they don't know what's wrong with you. It's all of the things. <laughs> Hold up, y'all. But I really think it's all the motherfucking chicken wings. You know, she cook a chicken wing now. Oh, yes. <laughs> Bitch. You fucking with you dirty assholes. Rattle. Mm-hmm. ba. Shelba. Here we go. Well, I ain't gonna show y'all that one first because that's funny. Ooh, we oh we um let me see. Oh, it ain't on here, but it is on here. Mm -hmm. While I'm queuing this up, y'all heard that um, Jennifer Hudson told Carmen, hell to the no, no. Uh, Carmen, Carmen, <laughs> Carmen. Um, yeah, she told, he proposed to her and she said no. Carmen must don't have good dick. I'm convinced. Uh, he, I'm convinced he fucked like a light-skinned nigga would. <laughs> With his lips like this. You know, light skinned niggas like to bite that bottom lip. Hold on. Uh, <laughs> oh, we. What the hell just happened? Let me did see. Uh uh. Why y'all wanna wake up a sleeping giant? Y'all said I'm giant sized and big backed and everything like that. 
That's what you said. I don't want to do that. Bitch, I heard you rattling some snack wrappers. I'm back, bitch. Huh? Hold on, let me see. It's all good. I know what to do for you, bitch. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Oh, I don't know. Let me see. I think that's it. Oh, okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Early in the morning, I put burp banking on the table. Watch that shit be burnt every morning. Um, oh, here we go. All right, here we go. Sorry about that delay. Let me show you how that works because they're full of shit anyway. Yeah, yeah, I'm full of shit. Now, Tater Head, as that's the name that I made up and gave her, Tater Head, because I don't use other people's nicknames for them. I don't do that. Maybe box braids from Darnell. Maybe I might say that once in a while. But I come up with my own names. I, 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 you ain't never going to hear me calling them somebody else's name that they made up for them. That's lame and whack and corny as fuck. Okay? Ah! Oh! <laughs> I swear I had a bad day today, but you have made me forget all about it. That's what's up. Thank you. Oh, feeling it today. I don't like motherfuckers playing on my phone, huh? Uh, what happened to the 30 gift cards that they had for the kids? $15 a piece on a card. Baby, if you think, if you think for one second that those kids was, those gift cards was ever going to see the light of day inside that shelter and those kids were going to get some monetary, like actual cash gift cards. I don't give a fuck if it was to McDonald's or whatever. If you think that um grandpappy was about to unask them gift cards to them kids baby mm. i got a double-headed dildo to sell you bitch if you think those kids were ever going to see the light of day of those cards in their hand i got a, a double-headed dildo to sell you huh ka -ka -ka. Don't play. Okay. Um, you guys make sure you hit all the fills, huh? I appreciate it. And Michelle Winch. It, it says Witchard, but I'm gonna call you Winch. <laughs> it's close enough, bitch. Fuck you doing hitting the mad face. And I don't want to hear nothing about how your home health aid was there with you when you had our app up and was on live and you sent your home health aid. <laughs> to the liquor store to play your numbers for the day and she came back and the number was wrong she played the wrong fucking pick three huh you told her to play two five three and the bitch played two five two and when she came back from the liquor store and you looked at your numbers that she played and it was wrong your hand went crazy and you hit the mad face bitch i don't want to hear it i don't want to hear it hmm What's up, Sh um, Shantae Hall? Not one gift card was had. Baby, I got a double-headed dildo to sell you if you think them gift cards was ever going to reach the hands, the palm of the hands of them kids. Ain't no way. Gift card. Let me, let me hide my number because you motherfuckers. Mm. Hey, here's a gift card for you. Here's one for you. One for you. You. You, you, you. Oh wait, I get a text message from my from my wife. Let me read this message. Don't give them little motherfuckers. Nan, <laughs> she on live giving out gift cards to the kids. Here you go, take text coming. In. Don't give them. Let me read my wife text. Don't give not Nan one of them little motherfuckers. A gift card. Yeah, you better get down here back to this hospital 
and bring the motherfucking gift cards right here. I don't know why you went in there and took them out my underwear drawer anywhere, bitch. Anyway, get down here and bring the motherfucking gift cards back here. Get every last one of them back from them bad motherfuckers. Ciao, bye. <laughs> why? Why I wasn't even messing with y'all? Not to this degree. And none of them over there can't even be mad at me. You know what I'm saying? People that I kind of establish some some type of, you know what I'm saying, civil situation with. Don't be mad. Be mad at them. Because I never, ever, ever um, go for a person first, other than Carmen and Tech. I don't do that. I was lighting up. I was lightening up on them, and I was not going to get back to this and other levels of pettiness with them. I wasn't even going to do it. People were so mad on the internet motherfucking groups people places and things y'all be in my ear all the time telling me all the shit they say not that i give one fuck but everybody on the internet was mad because i started the page talking about carmen Tate. this is they are at the center of this page because i created it around them it used to be named after them people so mad because i was taking an extra motherfucking light on y'all ass huh mcdonald's drive through give me a sweet tea Light ice, bitch. That's how light I was on you hoes. <laughs> light ice in your sweet tea from McDonald's. That's where I was with it. Y'all ain't appreciate it. Black people don't be appreciating nothing, child. Um, them gift cards wasn't even displayed. Only them bubbles spread across the table. <laughs> Not Kim talking about some nandy. I'm glad you are back back to your normal self. Ciao. Y'all know I have it up in me. I don't know why y'all would want to bring it out. Okay. I must admit it's more fun this way, child. <laughs> don't get on your motherfucking fat form. Fuck platform, bitch. On your fat form, uh, Miss uh, 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 Roach. Life Roach. That's another name we gave her over here. The Life Roach. Don't, don't miss me with your motherfucking soliloquies, bitch. You ain't Jill Scott writing poetry. You sound dumb. And nobody's on nobody's online to read a motherfucking paragraph, bitch. Huh? Nobody's online to read a Stephen King novel. Because that's what that <laughs> Carmen and Tay is perfect for Stephen King. Nobody's on there to read pages and pages and pages for hours and hours and hours. To, to oh oh hold on hold on a second hold on 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 okay I'm back um ciao ba let me see crook we're going to need you to see them receipts for the fryers you got on the trailer mm hmm and did I see one gift card in the Easter basket Y'all better stop sending them gifts. Mm -hmm. Um, let me see. The world will be better, a better place if everyone keeps it a hundred, like you do up in here. I really do. <laughs> Miss Nandy, you got me here in Charlotte, North Carolina, rolling. What's up, Miss Cynthia? Um, uh, my screen don't stay lit that long. Come on, cray cray. My screen don't even stay lit up. That shit done timed out. Trying to read that long ass bullshit. We ain't got to think that kind of time. Facebook is, we're not here for that. Huh? Um, They try to learn from you, Nettie. They can't and they won't. But I see my sayings and my doings and all everything all over other places. But carry on. I don't give a fuck. Um, she thinks she's so smart, but so dumb. These are the people. These are the people telling you about your ass, Lena. This is what people, we exactly, writing a motherfucking thesis, bitch. We're not here to write, read a fucking thesis. We're here to read a couple of lines and that's it, you know? Exactly, ain't nobody reading all that. <laughs> I'm hollering Stephen King, baby. Okay, 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 okay. Let's get into some, uh, some real interesting shit. Where's the blankets? Child, bye. Right, I ain't here to read the motherfucking Declaration of Independence, bitch. Fuck wrong with you. <laughs> oh, the perfume samples. So the perfume samples was supposed to be out 
on the 25th. Okay. Um, what day was the 25th? Somebody look on their calendar right quick and tell me what day was the 25th. Sometime I, okay, it was Monday. So she was in the hospital. She planned a hospital pedal stay, a hospital stay around the release time, which would have been Monday the 25th. Tay, we don't believe you. How Jay-Z said it, we don't believe you. You need more people. We don't believe you. Huh? We don't believe it. Monday was when the shit was supposed to be released. And so conveniently, Tay the Head was in the hospital with the things. Prepared for surgery, even though Carmen was going home and making her all kinds of burnt up shit and taking it back to the hospital. Huh? But she's throwing up. None of the shit makes sense. Y'all can sit, you know, and talk to each other and bounce lies and bullshit off of each other. But the people on the internet, not even me, them, all them, they're smart as hell. They're nurses. They're, they're, they're intelligent people, period regardless of their education level. They're intelligent people. You can't feed people on the internet. I couldn't feed them the lies with the, with the pictures. Oh, yeah, I was some motherfucking top flight security detectives on that shit. <laughs> you can't do it because they're going to find out. They're going to know. Um. Okay. She was in the hospital for E. coli because of that raw chicken that she put in that gravy. <laughs> well, the people don't came out with a theory, honey, and said that Tater Head. I'm, I'll show it. I'll show it in the, in a second. Let me let me show this first. Okay. Let me go ahead and do this, and then do this, you guys. Make sure you hit all the fills while you're waiting for me to cue this up. Her name's not Tate. Bye, Tamara. And she pregnant. Girl, she don't even have ovaries. And she said they removed them. I'm going to make an example out of your ass. You blocked the bed. Fuck out of here. Huh? Reynolds wrap. Tamara Reynolds. You don't get your Reynolds wrap tenfold having ass out my comment section saying nonsensical shit. Huh? All right. Let me delete that stupid ass comment. Okay. Please, several surgeries, but don't know her, her illness. <laughs> She's not even a real hospital. Well, that's the theory in our private group. I don't know that somebody in the group came up with it, but they surely posted it, that motherfucker. And normally, I don't even let them post nowadays. I don't even let them post other shit. Don't post other shit from other groups and pages in our group. Uh-uh. Because I use the stuff that's posted in our group for my lives. And I don't want to use no shit that belongs to anybody else. Y'all do your own screenshots, recordings, make your own memes and shit. Don't post shit from other groups in our group. Because if I'm talking about it and I show it, I won't know it's from another group. huh? Um, But I did let this particular one stay. I can tell you that. It was a theory. And I, I was like, wow, damn. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I ain't got nobody to blame but yourself for this thrashing that y'all gonna get from me because maybe you wasn't even a thought. Let me take this down first. Um, <laughs> um let's close you. Okay. We don't talk the way. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. How is she pregnant? Can we come with something a little more likely? She's blocked. Reynolds rap got blocked and banned after that shit. Get your ass down into the welfare, bitch. Huh? Um. Okay. So let me show y'all this. This is this is a video. Uh, your favorite chef cooked the crook Carmen, um, down at the shelter. Now, now, ka, ka, ka. we can't take it away that even though they collected money and this is nothing out of their pocket and they made a profit from this, um, they still did do it. You know what I'm saying? So there's that. So let's show these baskets. Then we're going to look at a picture of all the other baskets that they claim they bought in Walmart the other day. And they're not matching up. Huh? I got a good eye. I have a very good eye. 
And these baskets don't look anything like the baskets that they was um, pretending that they were buying at Walmart the other day. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Now, this is at the shelter. Not supposed to be in a shelter filming, a, 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 a domestic violence shelter. I told y'all I have volunteered plenty of times at DV shelters, cook food. One of the things that you could do is go in and cook for them, right? Um, you take the food, you uh, coordinate ahead of time, and you ask them, uh, what would they like for dinner? Spaghetti or, you know, whatever it may be, you know, pot roast, whatever. And you ask how many people are there, women and children, and you go and buy all the stuff. And you never get the address. You have to drive to a landmark near where they're staying, not too close, but you know, and then you call them back like, hey, I got all the groceries. I'm coming to cook for them. Um, and they will give you the turn by turn. Okay. When you get to so-and-so street, make a left. When you get to the, you see that greenhouse on the right, make a right. They will guide you there for safety. Women who are beat up and um, battered and, you know, um, victims of domestic violence, these are safe houses, homes, but they call them houses. These are safe houses for them, safe havens. And you're not supposed to give out the address because the deranged dad's boyfriend could come back and beat the shit out of them some more or burn the whole house down. That has happened plenty of times. So they don't give out. They don't want you. They don't give you the address straight up. And they don't want you showing where it's located. You got the camera pointed out the window. These niggas these days, uh-huh. They be like, oh, shit. That's that oak tree over there by that burgundy house. I know exactly where Shantae at. And it's all your fault. Don't do that. This is the kind of shit her life roach is supposed to be telling her. This is exactly it. Instead of getting online, trying to block everything people say, you'll never be able to do that because people are... Anyway, all right. Let's look at her inside the shelter, passing out these baskets, which is a nice deed. Is it a, a nice thing to do? Um, but it's it's courtesy of all the people on the internet. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look. Did y'all see the video where she was trying to act like that lady knew who she was and the lady burst her bubble like, wait, the dog, you the lady with the dog? No, bitch. It's a beautiful presentation. It's a it's a nice presentation. Um, okay. So y'all saw the baskets, right? Okay, hold on. Let me close out of this. Um, nah, I don't think she's in a real hospital, just lying about the reason she's there. Okay, let's get into some other stuff. Jay-Z what? I hope Jay-Z ain't mixed up in any of this Diddy shit because y'all know that's my favorite rapper. Period. Okay, let's get into our group. Y'all been going bananas in the group, child. <laughs> oh, wait. Okay, hold on. There we go. Uh... Let me sort these. Let me sort these posts, child, because I can't see all the posts that's in the room. It's a lot to keep up with. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Y'all, some wild people in the group, boy. 
Yeah, some else. Yeah, something else. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's a lot to go through and sift through, child. Okay. Here go the baskets. Let's look at the baskets, child, right quick. Let me show it. Let me share this with y'all. Because this don't look like nan one of them baskets I seen. All right. Here we go. Okay. So these Tay and Carmen were in Walmart um, on Saturday night. Okay. Um, which is Saturday. When they claimed she went to the hospital on Saturday night, which I disproved that, dispelled that lie. And rumor because I showed y'all what she was online on Sunday. Both Carmen and, and Tay said it multiple times that she was there on Saturday night. Okay. Okay. So look at the stuff in this basket if y'all can see it. I mean, let me let me blow up your weight a little bit. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at Tater He. Tater Hey, you ain't got the lie to kick it. Why you got the lie like that, girl? Okay. There to them blankets. There, there are the blankets. Um, we be showing out in the group. Y'all something else, especially with all this going on. I'm tardy, but I'm here. Okay, so these are the this is the Walmart run that they did when they were in there playing up in the lady's face and all this and that and the third, and they had all these. Where are all these baskets? I, how many baskets did y'all count? Put them in the comments and please let me know how many baskets y'all counted in that video that I just showed y'all. At the DV shelter where they're not supposed to be filming people for. It's literally a life and death reason. How many baskets y'all counted, huh? They're going to blankets that were missing in action. <laughs> Four. <laughs> really, OG? Four. Come, 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 come on. How many baskets? I should go back and we should play a little game. How many? Um, to see who got it closest and I'll buy you lunch tomorrow. How many baskets were actually, do you think, were set up um, at the event? And how many gift cards you think were given out? Somebody let me know in the comments. Put them in the comments. Let me know. That's the place before you go through the line. Right. Nine baskets, you think? Fifteen. You think it was 50 baskets that were on display? Okay, John. All right. My crate said six. Uh, what's up, uppity cousin? That's because they filmed the Easter baskets that were already there, darling. Oh, from other people, huh? 20 baskets, no gift cards. 12, maybe 15 baskets and no gift cards. I'm going to rock with that one. That sounds about accurate, Karen. 20, what's up, Miss Graham? 15, that was not all they bought, about 30. Okay, 7, 10 at the most. Get John up out of here. <laughs> to make you a whole admin child uh about 16 baskets and not one gift card wow that sounds about right 15 25 10 12 20 25 now how many in these carts they had carts and carts 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 they had about four five six carts 15 no gift cards okay I i'm gonna roll with that that's a um miss gillen what's up lady I don't know, but I know it was zero gift cards. <laughs> you do know that. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. I mean, I ain't going to be all the way grimy and slimy on them like I could be, even though they don't even appreciate it. But someone could easily call the shelter, huh? Now, see, if I was them, I'd be calling them on live right now. Let me call them on live and see um, how many, how the kids enjoying their gift cards. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. Let me call them on live and see how the kids enjoyed their gift cards from yesterday. Uh, Damn. Hello, this is the shelter. 
Uh, hey, this is our, this is Chef Carmen. I was there yesterday. You know, she tries to sound, see her name in an in in, in in intelligent voice. This is Chef Carmen, and uh, I was just there on yesterday. I had the green eggs and ham, and sham, I am green eggs and ham. Anyway, uh, I was here yesterday, and, <laughs> and uh, it's gonna be some people who are gonna call up there. And, they the haters. They everybody hate me because I'm the best chef in the world. You know, you tasted that ham yesterday. I know it was a little bit hair. It was a little bit dropping. You tasted that right You know it was good. Anyway, they're gonna call up there and they're gonna share, ask about the gift cards. Uh, what gift cards, ma'am? We don't know any exactly. That's what I want to talk to you about. Uh, they seem to think there was some gift cards. Please don't give them any information about any of the gift cards, even though they're the ones who bought them, they're the ones who paid for them. Uh, I I, I want to keep it on the uh on the BL. On the what? Oh, I'm thinking about Boss Lady again. I have it on the DL, not the BL. I already gave it on the BL. I already gave it on the DL uh, about the gift cards because that's top top secret information. Well, we want to talk to you anyway because you were in here recording and you showed out the window, the location of where we are, and that's against policy rules. So, yeah, I know I did that, but I got an obligation to my followers uh, to go live and show them everything I'm doing and everything because I ain't got no content, you know, and I'm struggling. So please forgive me. Uh, you know, somebody come down there to beat up one of them ladies from the previous relationship that they was in. Uh, call me and I'll send my wife down there because you know she's from the hood and she's scrappy. They call her scrappy. She's very scrappy and shit. Uh, call us up if anybody come down there. Uh, and the security is beached. Let me know. But uh, mama's the word on them gift cards, okay? Uh, you got any of that, um, uh, the yellow rice leftover? Because I want to take it to my wife at the play hospital she at right now. We don't have any more of the rice. We threw it all in the trash after you left. Oh, uh, okay. 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 All right. Rice was so good. Rice was so good, though. All right. Have a good day. <laughs> Ciao, bye. <laughs> Okay, listen, we're all the $15 blankets and slippers. I ain't seen it, but let's look again at the video and see if we can spot it somewhere. Let's see. Hold on. Hold on. Let me did see. Let me did see. Y'all clearly like this. I don't know why the fuck. Chaba. Hold up. Let's look again. Let's take a little. Before we move on to the hospital stuff, because child, that's some wild shit. Okay, here we go. Let's see, let me do stop. Hold on. I might have to do it from the beginning. Start, start. Y'all threw that rice away. It was uh, it wasn't jasmine rice, but All right, y'all count, count now. Let me know what y'all see. Hold on. Let me open this up. Okay. From the Prince Hearts. Which, by the way, was another organization name that Tay stole from an organization, a nonprofit. It was called Prince Hearts. No originality. I don't see nothing in basketball. One, two, three, four, five, six, nine, eight, nine, eight, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, you count the little things, okay. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Girl, you have know people sending you baskets. You have people sending you baskets in the mail. Oh, okay. I know that. I know you never know how. You have people sending you baskets. You know how kind of about the people How they get out of the and I hope they get 20 guys. It wasn't love. You had all the money to collect. It was how much money you had. It was all the cash apps that went in. Every last one of them. Okay. Um, like open up your cash app account and show it. Uh, all the money that went in. 
the cash apps, the gift cards, the people who bought straight up off the, the websites, Amazon or wherever, and you got 15 Easter baskets on the table and not one card to be found, not named. Okay, girl. <laughs> Uh, okay, let's talk about this hospital gate, child, because this is this is serious. This is very, very disturbing behavior. Behavior for someone who claims. Could you imagine Tay being your caregiver in a hospital setting? She, girl, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't trust it. The older kids were disappointed because they promised gift cards. Wow. Nandy, did you hear the lady ask about the gift cards? Is it in the group? Let me see. I counted 23 with those small ones under the bottom. Yeah, so about 15 and, you know, a few more, maybe eight more with um with them little baby ones. Those are all store-bought baskets. The, the, the baskets are nice. Let's be clear. And the presentation is beautiful. So let's say that. John Brown said, whoever said, get John up out of here. So, Nandy, I just leave your life. I watch you when you were speaking. Did I say I was going to kick you out? Calm down, killer. Um, Nandy, I just leave your life. I'll just leave your life. I watch you when you were speaking on them other people, but I get off your life. But I'll get off your life. I don't know what that means. Um, but I just don't get the hate so bad. It's awful. What hate? You mean about getting you out of the group? Well, Mike Ray said that hey, you don't want to rumble with her child. Okay, let's let's look at um. I I don't know about the the kids. Is it in the group? Somebody listen. All of the people in the private group that we have. Let me take this down right quick. When y'all find stuff, whatever it is, you know what I'll post it in the group. Never mind. Um, how did she get so sick so fast and then turn around and say she's well? Don't get this. She's a hypochondriac. Y'all know what that is? Huh? I said that the other day when I made a post. What happened to the 30 gift cards that were received from Miss Benz? Yeah. Oh God. My Cray John Brown said John Brown, I is here. Oh Lord. Okay, okay, okay. We have zero drama in here and there and it's lovely we don't have any drama at all in our um private group the nandy at the dark group at all um the admins know to go to, um, they're around and if they see your ass laughing thumbs up liking anything shady about me that's fine do what you do baby but your ass will be checked out to see if you in a group or on this page and blocked and fucking banned and i give them full reign to do that that's it okay um, no, you didn't see it in the group. Okay, thanks. What's up, Brim Brim? All right, so let's take a look at the at hospital gate, child. This just gives me so much anxiety and headaches. It's just so many lies just going around on this internet. So y'all, y'all remember? Hold on, let me go up some. <laughs> oh, y'all remember? When I was, I don't know if y'all remember when I was searching for galas, um, for um, event space for the galas, but I was, that was part of the planning committee. One of the things I found when I was searching around for, for an event space for the sneaker ball gala that I was going to do, but they called up, they, they're not, their hands are not clean. I totally believe it was Carmen Attack. But the way other bitches are moving on this internet these days, it could have been them or anybody else, okay? Um... But one of the things that I found when I was looking for venues, in addition to like large fabulous houses that have the meet and greet at and that kind of stuff, were these spaces that you could rent out months ago. Ice cream parlors, because they know everybody's social media influencers these days. This is a large presence of social media influencers. So ice cream parlors, you can rent out whole ice cream parlors, okay, um, to do your videography and your shooting and all that stuff for the day. I want to show y'all something real quick. You can rent out whole spaces and venues. Let me see. Let me put my chapstick on because my lips. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 40 gift cards, $15 each. Ain't seen near one. Not near. Not near. You don't know, man. Okay, here we go. So Carmen 
and Tay has said that Tay's in the hospital. Now, I want to show y'all something real quick. Okay. They they definitely watch the comments and read comments, etc. Because, you know, it was said that, oh, not a doctor was in there, anywhere in sight. So they, they just so happened to capture, you know, have a doctor go in, a paid actor, maybe. I don't know. But these are all working theories. Okay. I want to bring y'all attention to something. Huh? The last time Tay was at a hospital, she was at Memorial Herman. Okay. Herman Memorial. Yeah, she was there. Okay. And she, that was the sign behind her bed, you know, that was on display for the world to see. Of course, she may sort of take, take down all the signs this time around. It ain't a sign behind that bed, you know, where she is. But what I find interesting is this door that they have up here. I don't know a lot of hosp- actual real physical hospitals with actual doors. This is a door like a um, like a like a bedroom door, or you know what I'm saying, a front door to your home. I mean, they don't have those. They have sliding glass doors to go in and out of the room, so they can observe all patients throughout the hospital, huh? They have sliding glass doors with a curtain, you know, that they have to move, maneuver, manipulate as they go back and forth. I have not, I've been around for a long motherfucking time. They ain't even got a slit in this door to look inside to see what's going on. This is a regular ass door. I thought this was sufficient. (laughs) Okay. And look at Karma's face. Y'all know y'all up to some bullshit. Y'all need to stop. Look at this door. This is a regular ass door. I've never seen anything like this unless... You are, I can't even say then, like if you, maybe if you go into like an urgent care clinic or something like that, even those nowadays, you know, but you claim you admitted to a hospital and they got this regular, regular ass, regular knock, knock, who's there door up this bitch. Cause you sure can't see on the other side of it. This is sufficient to me. Not suspicious, sufficient. This is sufficient. Okay. Oh, look at this one. Mm-hmm. This bitch is not wearing a motherfucking snuggie like me. You went out and bought, a, cause y'all know Miss Roberta bought me one of them snuggie shits. I know this bitch ain't run out and buy one. I been. Let me go get mine. Hold on, I'll be back. I'll be motherfucking damned. Hold on. I know motherfucking well. I know this bitch did not run out and buy the same motherfucking color and everything as my motherfucking Snuggie. What, 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 what is it called? Comfy. My comfy. <laughs> you ran out, bitch, and bought a comfy like me? I ain't buying this, Miss Roberta bought it, but I raved about it so much online. Bitch, Carmen, I've been watching you for years. I ain't never seen you wear no shit like this ever in life. She ran out and got her fucking comfy like me. <laughs> I mean, I talked about it a lot and so much. No, this bitch did. Swin, where have you been? Nobody hates me like you do. Nobody don't. Girl, twin, where have you been? I think she said Took Sun gave it to her. I doubt it. They lie about every fucking thing. Child, and she probably told him she wanted one because it's a random ass gift to give somebody. As much as I talked about it and ran it and raved about it, this bitch went out and got the same color. Huh? The same color? 
You know how many colors there are in the rainbow? Same color in everything as me. Ain't this a bitch? Let me see if I can pose like her. Hold on. Let me see. Bitch. Yeah, holes. Hold on. I let that lip hang. Girl. <laughs> Bitch. No, you did not. Mm, 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 mm. Chow, chow, chow. Okay, okay, okay. So let's get back to the video at hand. Let's get <laughs> Chow, bye. Uh, let me see. Let me look at something right quick. Bitch. Hold on. 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 Is that? Yeah, up there. Hold on. No, you did. <laughs> Girl, ain't no way. Mm, 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 mm. All right, let's get back into it, child. Let me take this motherfucker down. Mm. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, we hollering over here. What's up, Deborah? Okay. 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 Um, let's go back though. Hold on. Take this down. What are you looking at? I hate when this happens. There we go. Okay. Okay. Dr. Chen got an Asian uh, Asian actor up there. Dr. Chen, where have you been? <laughs> Look at Tay looking at him like, where the hell you been? Your Q been up. You been on Q to come in here and open that big ass oak door. Where you been? And what she saying in her mind? Chen, <laughs> Mr. Chen. Where have you been? Y'all done dragged the Asians into y'all shit too, huh? Oh my God. Oh God. She can't. She. Oh, look at that shit. Look at her. Oh, these two motherfucking schemers and scam. Bitch got on her motherfucking comfy like me. Same color, everything. Y'all the most copying bitches ever. Child, if I knew they had a comfy, cozy, whatever, I would never buy one. And Miss Roberta sent me this one. I wouldn't even wear this shit online. That's how my pride set up. Look at these motherfuckers. Let's get off of here, child. Okay. So, let's get on into some things. Somebody said the things and um the mental hospital, child. Okay. So somebody said, morning lies. Here we go. Crooked took on live with the doctors, ran all types of tests on me and can't find anything wrong with me. Beach, we all know you, you, we all know, and you know, too, ain't nothing wrong with you because you are in the wrong hospital, period. Go straight to the mental health hospital and they will find everything wrong with you there. Go now. Oh my God. That's something else. Now, I will say this room that they in, this looks, it looks staged. It look, I've never seen a hospital room look like this before, ever. It looks like a, it, okay. All right, listen, before we get into this video, okay, look at this. Look at that oak door. Baby, there is a curtain up here, but there's the oak door. There's the oak fucking door. I ain't never. I haven't seen a hospital like that in a long time. Like I said, maybe a walk-in clinic, and maybe that's where they at, child. Okay, listen. Before we get into the hospital stay and the lies, 
that burnt lips have been telling on this here motherfucking internet. Huh? It's crazy. It is absolutely insane the lengths that people will go through um, to lie. Huh? To lie about some shit that don't even concern them. In other words, huh? Because this pat lady, I'm not believing a bitch ass word she's saying at all. Huh? I'm not believing you. Huh? I, I, you said we're going to get into it. But before we get into that, let me let y'all know that. Hold on, here we go. Before we get into that, let me let y'all know that um, I have something for you guys. Stop. You. You. And you. Okay. So I have been extremely very busy over the last couple of days. Um, weeks, really. Uh, I revamped our um, bag website. Uh, I revamped the bags. It was too much stuff in the bags, which caused substantial delays. Everything in the bag was customized to... Um, the wishes of people who were ordering the bags. The pajamas were custom. Um, everything in the bag was specific to a person. That results in extremely long delays and um, and all kinds of issues, right? It just wasn't worth it. The bag was the bags were full of a lot of things and they were great, wonderful. People enjoy them, but it was too much work and too much labor on me. And the turnaround time was too long because uh, of all the delays with the things that went into the bag. So I decided to revamp them and my website. I was up for days doing redoing my website. Um, this is what comes in the bag now. A robe, a night shirt and a gown, an electric toothbrush, because you have to have that, and then your toiletries, your mouthwash, your toothpaste, your deodorant. This is actually how the box is packaged. The little baby box, the accessories box, I call it. Okay, here's the box. You can't see it too good, too well. Here's the box. And here's what's inside the box. Your toiletries. Your toothbrush. And your t-shirt slash gown, which is tissue wrapped. Okay? Goes neatly in the box. This is your new accessories box. All that other stuff, earpods, earbuds. It was too much stuff in the box. But these are your essentials that you need when you go to a hotel. Ah, duh, obviously. Okay? Um, let me put you back. So here is um, here are the things that's in the new bags. Um, here are the bags. I got a lot of new colors up here. The bags are less than half of what they were previously. So they're $175. Um, because they're not loaded down with all the stuff that was in them, and I'm able to turn them around within days. So you don't have to wait weeks, months, a long period of time. Oh, this is still on back order because this that um these bags go out within days of you purchasing them. All right. Um, lots of beautiful colors. I actually have the roller bags. You guys have been on me about these bags. Um, this is one of them. This is the red crocodile bag. It's $195 for this one. The other ones are $175. Um, beautiful bag. And um, all the people who purchased their bags last week, they already have their bags or they're in transit because I couldn't get in touch with them for a day or so, whatever. But they've all um, gone out. And um, it's super simple. The website's super simple. The red croc. You pick your robe size, all right? Small, all the way up to 3X. And then your nightshirt size. So that's what's going in the bag. I'll be shopping at different places, Macy's, wherever, um, for the robes and the nightshirts. And they go in the bag. This is so much easier than what pajama size you like, what, what color scheme you want on your pajamas, what color. The, you'll get a nice nightshirt and a robe and an electric toothbrush, all the toiletries. Um, and the first five people who order their bag today will get a free silk um, eye mask. These came with the other bags, all right? So you'll get a free 100% silk eye mask for the first five people who do the rollers bag come in black. Um, no, I don't have any in black right now. But we have the green, the red, and the, um, what's the other color? The green, the red, and I think pink. I'm not sure. Oops. Let me go back out. Um, purple. Green, red, and purple. 
Okay. Can't go wrong with any of those. I even included a video on our page now on our new website. I embedded a video and it shows you exactly how large these bags are, what goes into to the cell phone charger, easy access. I can just reach right in there and just grab it out whenever I need it. This bag is extremely spacious. So my sneakers right here. Ooh, two huge crew necks. Love my oversized crew necks. I have a towel for my vacation needs. Very spacious. Very lots of inside compartments and all that stuff. So I'm doing a special for you guys um, with this bag. So while we're on live right now. Um, you can take, it's free shipping across the website that shipping is not cheap. I, I know when you guys hear free shipping, you're like, okay, what else? The average shipment cost me about $20 between 18 and sometimes 23. My pray, she bought a bunch of bags for me. She's in the comments. She bought some last week and she bought some last year. Her to ship to her. She's in California. It, it cost me at least 20 something dollars to ship to her. So this is money. I have to actually pay out of my pocket for shipping and the boxes are custom. And, um, you know, that's a, that's a cost too. So free shipping site-wide and $10 off just while we're live right now. The code for the $10 off across the website is wheels up, right? Once we go off of live, um, that's it, right? I've already programmed the code to expire once the live goes off. It's $10 off and it's wheels up. These bags will ship out within days of you placing your order, not weeks or months or however long was so many issues with the way that I was um, procuring procuring um, the items for the other bag and sending them out. It was so many moving parts. This is so simple. You get your beautiful, elegant, swaggy ass bag and the essentials that you need, your robe, a nice gown, and um, you know all your accessories and an electric toothbrush. All right. So there it is. This is the new website. Um, I revamped it, made it more aesthetically pleasing for you guys. Here are the roller bags. Um, the regular bags are 175. They were like 315 before, 350 or something like that. So these are 175. Same beautiful bags. All right. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous bags. Um, in fact, I have a red one right here that I'm preparing to ship out to someone. Um, here's a red one. And um It'll come in its own dust bag and everything. Mike Cray, why are you looking like that? Um, it, it comes in its own dust bag, too. All right? So these are the dust bags. This is how it'll come. Brand new from the factory. Two-year warranty. And um, it comes in its own dust bag. So you can protect your bag. They are water-resistant, scratch-proof, odor-proof, all of that. These are beautiful as very, very beautiful bags. And... Um, I love the bags. Those roller bags look nice. Yep. Um, well, we're not in New Jersey, Miss Deborah. So there's that. We're talking about Texas and Memorial Hermit. Um, but this is the, the website is exactly the same. I just gave it a fresh overhaul and um, lots of new colors um, and di completely different process for these bags. And um, yeah, so you'll get your bags. You'll have your bags and the contents within the bags within a week of placing your order. Definitely. Completely different process. Um, so that's it. So they're $175. Right now you can take $10 off and get free shipping. That's a $30 value. All right. So the code is wheels up and um, it'll take it off instantly. But that's only while we're live. All right. Let me go back in. Okay. Um, you love your purple bag. Um, the purple is really, really nice. All the bag colors. I mean, when you go out with these bags, people are going to ask you, this is actually my own personal bag. Um, you guys have seen me carry this before. This is a blue snake skin. It is gorgeous. People are going to ask you where you got your bag. Like what, what is that? It's gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. Sturdy. Um, sophisticated, elegant bag, all of them. And you can't go wrong with, um, with the color choices either. Um, my code would not take wheels up. You have to put it all in together. You have to put it all in together. Wheels up. 
if you space it out, it's not going to take. So it's um, it's Wilza. That fluorescent yellow. Miss Sherry, you love stuff like that. You love big bolts, um, stuff, colors, and um, earrings and stuff like that, uh, which is awesome. Um, what happened to the other codes? I'll use them maybe around Christmas. Um, that's a room they use for shows like Fatal Attraction for My Mind and the ID channel to do the reenactment scene. Um, so yeah, this, this is the new, let me take this down. Oops. So the code is wheels up. It's $10 off. Um, whatchamacallit just bought a bag. Bernadette just bought a bag. I think she has two bags last week and she got it yesterday and she posted it up in the room with all her stuff, her and a bunch of other people. So, you know, um, okay. So, but let me know if you cannot get that code to go through. It's, um, it's wheels up altogether and it's $10 off and free shipping just while we're live right now. All right. Okay. So y'all make sure y'all go and check out the new website and the new color bags. Here's a white one. I mean, summer's coming. So, um, this is a nice white one. It's a white snake skin website. I try to make it as intuitive and, and user-friendly as possible. You already see you don't even need a code for the shipping. I've already put it in the system. Um, the roll side, rope size goes up to 3X large. Same ropes that I've shown you guys um, multiple times. Um, night shirt size goes up to a 3X2. If you need something larger, just reach out to me and let me know that because I can certainly accommodate that request. And um, that's it. You don't have all these different options like we had before to go through and et cetera, et cetera. All right. These are absolutely FAA compliance. All you need to do is throw your underwear in here and your clothes and walk out the door. That's it. All right. All right. Let's get back to some crook and took stuff. Do, 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 do. Go back. Why didn't go back? Okay, there you go. The bag, I'm keeping it super simple. Um, almost generic. Almost. You just don't have all those customizable features. It takes a long time. So many moving parts, so many different vendors. We're not doing that. That leads to lots of delays and people being unhappy. We're not doing that. Um, the bags um, and its contents will be shipped out. Uh, within days of you making your order and you'll have it within a week. Definitely. Um, for those of you who are, who have owned uh, or purchased the, what I'm calling the legacy bags, the original bags with all the stuff in it. If you are still waiting on something, something hasn't, hasn't come in, send me an inbox and let me know that. And I'm happy to refund your money. Very. I mean, it's very simple. Or you can keep waiting, whichever one it is. But send me an inbox here on Messenger and let me know. And I will definitely take care of you. Just a couple of people. But these are super simple and they go out expeditiously. All right. And they're beautiful bags. All right. Uh, the website is www.hotel, H-O-T-E-L, sweet, S-U-I-T-E, life, L-I-F-E dot com. Um, it worked. Okay, awesome. Nandy, do you have the video of the sunglasses gate? What happened? Oh, yes. We definitely gonna look at it because uh, it's on Darnell's page. <laughs> uh, let me see. I think that I messed up. How could you mess up? Um, can you send my bag to my previous address used? That's a Father's Day gift for hubby. So you put in a different address? Yeah, I can do that. Mm-hmm. No problem. Uh, I will call you. Won't be today, but it'll be over the weekend. Um, I'll call you and um, get your, whatchamacallit. Um, are the braid units going out? Yes, the braid units are going out. I ship out braid units on uh, every other Monday. So I just had a shipment um, the previous Monday. So I'll be shipping out again this coming Monday. Um, and I appreciate you guys' patience with me on everything. It's literally just me. I make everything, everything by hand um, for the braids units. Um, and yeah, I'm very meticulous and I don't want to send you bullshit. So the braids units are going out. Um, the next shipment will be Monday. 
All right. So if you haven't gotten a braids unit, I appreciate you bearing with me. I'm not Macy's. I'm not a factory. It's just one of me. And it's a lot of y'all have bought those braids units. And I definitely do appreciate it. I mean, why not? Who can't use one? <laughs> the whole world can use them. Um, so, yeah. Miss Coleman, did you get your, um, you did get your bag last week. You posted it up in the room too. All right, you guys. Um, so that's enough of that. Let's get back into some Crook and Took stuff. Uh, I think the website's pinned below. It's um, www.hotelsuitelife.com. Uh, right now, while we're live, you can get $10 off with the code Wheels Up and, uh, and free shipping. And you'll have your bag in a week, definitely. Totally different process, different content. And the first five people will um, get a free silk eye mask. You know one thing I wanted to do? And Miss Sherry, I know you're on here. Um, the the legacy bags, the bags from last year, they arrived with body butter bags that I purchased from Miss Sherry. All right. And um, yes, you got your bag, you posted in a group. Okay. What I wanted to do was, and we'll talk about this um on in depth on another live, is it's so many of you all who have small businesses out there with phenomenal products, right? So, like if um burnt lips wasn't crazy and, and, and you know what i'm saying off a fucking rocker like she be and constantly doing outlandish shit um she is someone or a business like that or like taste business where she has the small samples of perfumes um what i want to do is in these boxes which are custom boxes that i purchased in these boxes where all your goodies um will be sent for your overnight bags, your toothbrush, your toiletries, your um, your gown, and you know tissue wrap properly, and all that stuff. Um, what I like to do is include free samples, very small samples, like maybe a one-time type um, usage. Um, so not like big bottles or even medium-sized bottles. Very small one-time use samples. Um, if you have a business. Um, you can include it. I ship them to me and I will include them with the, um, with these boxes. All right. I'll send them in the boxes. And this is a great way for you to, to for, for cross promotion. It's a great way for you to get your business and your brand in front of a lot of people. I'll talk about it here on the page and they'll be included in the boxes, like little treats for the people who buy the sweet life overnight bags, treats for them. Cause they get free samples of different things and um, treats for you as a business owner because you are enlarging and increasing your footprint, your brand print, all right? So um, that's definitely something that I would love to do. If you have a small business um, and you are wanting to, um, you know, get brand exposure more and, and, you know, et cetera, this is a great way to do that. So um, definitely reach out to me, send me a message in my inbox if you have um, something that you think would be useful to go into the boxes. Um, you have a hair care line, you have a skin care line, you have a perfume line, you have, um, you know, the, so many things. You guys are so creative and coming up with so many business ideas. I would love to include your products in the boxes. Huh? They will be free samples. Include your products in the boxes for people to say, damn, I really like that. I'm going to buy more. Oh, that smelled amazing. I'm going to buy some for me and my family over the Christmas holiday. This is a great way to get the word out about your business and your brand. So. All right, send me send me a, um, a message in my inbox if you'd like to um, to do that. Um, because those body butters bags that I included in the legacy bag, they they definitely cost me money. So I was putting them in there, um, and they are from phenomenal products. It's the body butter, the foot balm, et cetera, et cetera. And those of you who purchased bags from me last week um, also got body butter bags. Um, some of you um, that I purchased. So that's what I'll do. If, for the first five people who purchase the new bags, um, which will ship out in a couple of days, um, what I will do is um, include for five, the first five people one of those body butter bags from the legacy bags. So you get um, from Miss Sherry's um, business. So you get the body butter, the foot balm, which smells amazing. It's lemongrass. It's all natural. And um, a rosemary soap bar. And they come in cute little bags that I purchased from Miss Sherry. The first five people 
um, I'll put them in your bags. And they're, they're not cheap. I didn't pay her 5 or $10 for them, all right? I paid for those and included those in the legacy bags. So, um, but the first five people to purchase while we're on live tonight will get a free Body Butters bag, all right? Okay. Let me know in my inbox if you have a small business and you uh, want to put things in here to cross promote, et cetera. Uh, let me see. Somebody said something about, uh, Ashley said, I will inbox you. I have some silk bonnets that will be a cute addition. Okay. Lots, lots and lots of um, small businesses, et cetera, that are out there. I uh, can't wait to get my two braids units. Yes. Thank you for your order. I definitely appreciate it. I will make sure. Um, I'm almost caught up on my braids units. It's so, y'all, it's a lot of work. It takes me a couple of hours to make each unit. So it's not something that I throw together in five minutes, 10 minutes, an hour. It, it takes time. It has to be neat and it has to be sturdy. It has to be right. Um, Cause I wouldn't send it out any other way. So thank you all for your continued patience and support. Um, I do appreciate it. Um, Miss Sherry um, said, thank you. She appreciated it. I guess she was saying that you like her on um, body butters. Miss Sherry, I'll call you um, to talk to you about it more. Okay. All right. Back to business as usual. Um, so Carmen, so Carmen and Tay are in this hospital and they are, um, they, y'all say they think in the phone. This is what y'all say. I don't know if it's true or not, but let me share my screen. Okay. So, oops, no, oh, I did that. So this is our um, private group page. Scroll through. Oh, this is um, this is Bernadette's bag. She just got. She ordered this last week, and she already got it. She got her bag, the robe. She was one of the ones I threw a body butter bag in there for. She got some shower shoes. So she ordered this last week, and she got it a few days later. All right, it's a brand new process, and um, yeah. I don't want you to have to wait for your stuff any more than you want to. But unfortunately, the way that I was sourcing and all the stuff I had in other bags, it just was um, not conducive to um, the level of service that I'm committed to providing you guys. So too many long delays. Okay. Um, so where is that one? She said all the kids knew her, Chef Carmen. Oh, God. What happened with the dog? Something happened with um, the dog or whatever. <laughs> Should have been Facebook detectives. You ain't lying. I am not. I keep looking at you. See, this is no, about not. Carmen. Carmen. Carmen wants um everyone. She she loves this. She loves. She wants to be famous. She wants. She put on the on the flyer that she was a famous chef going to cook for um for the for so she was trying to set the stage before she even got there. You know, I'm a famous chef and I'm gonna be over at the shelter feeding, you know, these um battered women and children. And I'm gonna show y'all, um, uh, I'm gonna show y'all them and where they live where they live. Because basically this is what she did. She didn't, I don't think she showed anyone, but she certain certainly showed where they live. She wants to be famous so bad, she thrives off of, oh, you know me, <laughs> you know me where you know me from. You know me from the internet? Yeah, I be hanging out on the internet. I mean, I'm supposed to be a chef, but I ain't got no clients or nothing like, like that. I don't be doing no private catering or nothing like that because I only like big orders. But you should know me because I had a season line one time before, but I fucked that up and then somebody sold it out, you know. So, uh, but anyway, you should know me. I'm Chef Carmen. She uses that as um, a key to try to get into doors or curry favor with other people. And um, she thrives off of it. And it's just absolutely ridiculous. If somebody notices you, that's one thing. But to constantly be telling people that they should know you, where you know me from, and, and expecting people to know you, 
um, is ludicrous. But this is what happens when you are a person who um, have not accomplished very much in life. And you can say, oh, she accomplished, because I already know no neck rolling around on that no neck. Oh, she accomplished plenty. Carmen has lost everything that she's touched in the last two years. Okay. Don't tell me about these shakers and this and that and the third and not shakers and grinders. Don't tell me about any of that because, oh, I had to make sure my mute wasn't on because um, that's a whole, that's a whole issue in and of itself with the grinders and it's not a sustainable thing. Once people um, buy the grinders and there've been people talking about how the prints coming off of like the, the, the cutting board and the sticker or whatever y'all are calling it, it's coming off. It's not, um, very high quality stuff because it's stuff that we can secure, but it's high price. So, um, don't tell me about what she's accomplished in the last five months. She's 60 years old. We're talking about her lifelong accomplishments and achievements. All right. Um, going back 50 or 50 years or so, you know, she really doesn't have anything to show for it really. Um, and that's okay. Cause sometimes people have to start over and, you know, et cetera, that's fine. But don't keep going around hanging on to the shit that you used to have and used to do and the person you used to be because you are not that person anymore and not in a good way, Carmen. So, um, let me see. Someone said no one ever got their orders from Carmen, from Grandpappy, and the ones that did, the stamp is coming off. I don't know anything about that, but I did hear about the stamp coming off. Um, long lipped dog that lady called it. She should have showed them her Waffle House name badge. I bet that she kept. <laughs> oh, she's the dog. See, I don't need y'all. Y'all be saying stuff. I don't even be caught up. Okay. okay. So let's take a look at this. Um, Carmen trying to convince somebody that they know her or that she's this famous person. And I'm Chef Carmen. Carmen, I got news for you. Anyone can call themselves a chef, huh? Let me put this up here. Anyone can call themselves a chef, anyone. And um, cooking online, I was talking to someone last week or so. Cooking online, where are your clients? If you're a chef, if you're a private chef, you where are your clients? Where are your catering orders? Miss Marion got catering orders out the ass. Huh? Where are your catering orders, your clients, your, 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 your top billing clients? You, you're more known now, Carmen, for being a shit starter. Yes, you start shit. I don't even want to hear. Oh, she don't start shit. You've been calling my name and begging for this thrashing. And I wasn't even fucking with you. I was the quietest voice on the internet for months about you. Not because of you, just because of me. But um, you get online, your hands aren't clean. You do all kinds of shit. You threatened my life at one point in time. You lied to get me thrown in jail. Like your hands are not clean. You're very dirty. And they say that you are responsible for the Miss Marion and her daughter thing. Now, I don't know that I believe that because I believe other people definitely have the motive and the ability and the black heart to do it, not just you. But um, anyway, um, you, Carmen, you, 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 your hands aren't clean. And you desperate for views. You had to start, even your pages you lost. You had to start, you desperate for views. And this is the way to do it. But um, this is not really the way to do it. Like there are other ways, the things that you could do, but we ain't gonna even get into that. But um, she's desperate for attention. She's desperate for attention. She's, she, she, she's desperate for adoration you know, um, of fans and followers or, or even she's just, it's just really sad to watch because you had it all. You had all that. You had the adoration of your followers. You had a business that was on the uptick, which would be the, I got you brand. Um, you had people around you who loved you and cared about your well being, like your daughter, uh, your daughter, Karina, everybody, you know, you had a nice house here, here in Georgia. Um, you had Rico was here, you know, he was connected to his friends and family. So he was happier. He appeared to be happier here. Um, you had everything. It's so many things I'm not even mentioning, but 
you had it all and nothing's wrong with losing everything. Nothing. I mean, absolutely. Everyone's going to go through that. And if you haven't keep living, it will happen to you. I'm not saying that. Um, but what I am saying is that, um, you had everything and you're still wallowing in bullshit. Like, why are you concerned about what Nandy is saying about you? What, um, burnt lips is saying about you. I'm gonna keep calling you burnt lips, bitch, because you keep calling me out my name. I'm gonna keep calling you out yours. Um, burnt lips is saying about you. Um, you know what the pages are saying about you. You know, you're so worried about that that you're not even known for cooking anymore. You're known for messing these social media streets, and that is terrible when you think you have a talent, skill, and ability, you know, to um so that you can that you can market and make money off of. People don't go to your page to, to, to find easy one, two, three cooking recipes. You can't even show the I got you uh, videos anymore. So they definitely not coming to you to watch old videos on how to make ham or X, Y, and Z. Because you don't even have um, proprietorship over those videos. So you're known for mess. And I guess you've accepted that, which is why you've called my name out and trying to egg me on several times over the last several weeks. And, uh, and other people talking about Caroline. And how she looks in her eyelashes. Caroline look better than your ass. Girl, don't even get me started. I ain't about to go into it. Um, you're talking about everyone. But why don't you focus? If you don't want us talking about you, I'm always going to talk about your ass. Um, but I had... Anyway. You you need to stop worrying about what other people are saying on about you on this internet to the point where you get online crying and you got to have a whole team of people around you to respond to what people are saying. I'll be damned if I bring an influencer on here or any motherfucking body to come on here and stand up for me. Be like, why y'all saying this about her? Oh, y'all said this. Oh, your karma coming for this. Oh, da 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 da. da. Shut the fuck up. Huh? Huh? I can stand on my own too. Period. All of these influencers be having other people pop shit for them, stick up for them, lie for them. Not me. Mm mm. I can come right here and pop my shit on my slice of the internet. I don't need no motherfucking help. And anything I say, I stand behind it. Period. Not your ass, though. Okay. Um, what's up, Ro Ro, my girl? Um, Ro Ro said losing everything is one thing, throwing it all away is something different. Dumb as fuck. Um, somebody said, yep, and it's not good attention. What's up, Miss Joy? And took so happy that she has more followers than Crook. It ain't even funny. Mm. And they all Carmen's followers anyway. Let me see. Everything you see. Right. Okay. So let's take a look. Hey, OG, somebody say hi. With that dry looking chicken and ham, she was feeding people. I wouldn't even say I, I was a cook. I mean, as long as she she did feed them, I give her credit for that. You know, even though she didn't buy anything that was there, not one grain of rice. She got all donations, but she was there. She was there. And she did, whoever helped her set it up, probably Rico and maybe his new trans friend child, because where's she at, child? Somebody helped her set it up because Carmen did not do that presentation of the baskets and the this and the that. But it was a nice presentation. And, um, and she did serve the homeless or or the battered women and you know in the shelters etc she did do that so um yeah then she cooks the same thing over and over her followers are older people and you mean to tell me they can't cook grits <laughs> now that's true that's true tea okay here we go you do not know me from Facebook. You do not know me. I am not. I am not a chef on Facebook. I am not. I keep looking at you like I know you. Huh? Huh? No. This is Chef Carmen. Chef Carmen. So she runs into this lady at the shelter. That she's recording the inside of. Y'all know that you can take these pictures of the walls and different fixings and stuff. And like you could trace down where somebody's at. And she showed the shot through the window. 
um, on the one where she was showing the baskets and stuff. Let's run that back. So man, if you do not know me from Facebook. <laughs> you do not know me. I am not I am not a chef on Facebook. Just show one of the ladies walking by too. But here we go. I am not. I keep looking at you like I know you. Huh? Huh? No. This Chef Carmen. Chef Carmen. She wanna be known so damn bad. Damn. They know you for them lips, though. Man. You, you can be known for that, for sure. Oh, they go take the head. Oh, we what color are the sheriff's vehicles in Houston? Now, this is something else. We're gonna we're gonna get it. We're gonna talk about Tate Head a little bit, but then we're gonna get into these motherfucking atrocious lies that Burt Lips been talking about online. Bitch, I ain't forget about you. You done talk shit about me for two years straight. And um I don't know why, because I ain't never did shit to you, but try to support you in your brand and your business. But you ain't, I can't even reach you, but you too far going. This shit you've been lying about and saying and doing it and ripping and running on this internet, yeah. Darnell is on to your ass, girl. He got your number. We're going to see a little clip from him in a minute. Okay, so somebody in the group said, found this and it kind of makes sense so once again this was from somewhere else i usually don't let them even put stuff from other groups in here because i don't want the other groups to be like oh she's using our shit even though y'all have used my shit 99 percent of the time for the last two years but whatever um so if i wanted to use your shit i could but um somebody somewhere else said i'm convinced take you know they ain't from my group take was at a rented hospital now i could believe this because when i was looking for venues for that sneaker gala, I'm here to tell you, I saw venues that I didn't even know that they could rent, like hospitals and whole churches and ice cream parlors. At a rented hospital, machines not on. Now, I told y'all this the last time. That was one of the things that stood out to me was that there were no machines beeping and bopping for her first visit she had during that court date a month or so ago. Okay, Machines not on. No IV drawn. Now, y'all caught this. Whoever it was caught that the IV wasn't connected. I didn't even see that. But y'all caught this one this time with the no IV drawn. Not one nurse appears during the live. Things that make you go, hmm, hmm, okay. So apparently there's a website called Peerspace, and you can rent hospitals um, by the hour in Houston, Texas. Ooh, rent a hospital by the hour. So here's one, here's one, here's another one, huh? You can do it. You can absolutely do it. And, and this is not beyond the realm of possibility for Carmen and Tay, um, most especially because the heat is on about uh, about the whole uh, Caroline thing. Huh? She jumped right into that damn hospital bed on Sunday, even though they lied, both of them said it was Saturday, and came down with about of... Uh, um, I don't know what it is, and I'm here to say that it's all the things. Came down with about other things, and um, she didn't have to mail out her perfumes on Monday, so that's that's extra time to stall. She didn't have to. Um, what else did she do? She didn't have to mail out the perfumes. She didn't have to go and help serve. Um, for the Easter event at the domestic violence women's shelter. She just got to lay back on her lazy ass and just chill and uh, and pretend. And even if you're not pretending, maybe she's not pretending. Let's go do devil, uh, devil's advocate. Tell you the fact that you've caused so much mystery and you've done so much mischief, like lying. I didn't have cancer. I never said I did. Oh, I had something. Oh, you know, back and forth. And then Carmen the other day told me some, yeah, she definitely had cancer. The fact that you are creating so much mystery around what may or may not be going on with you is the reason that people are talking about it. Once I said I lied and those my motherfucking pictures, it didn't even matter anymore what anybody said. I took the power back, period. And you're not going to be able to take the power back about your health or anything like that or really anything that you say into and unless you tell the people what's really up. That's it. It's very simple. So they're, they're saying that the theory is out there that 
people are um what you call it that, that she's she's possibly rented out a hotel because they are out there to rent and y'all saw mr chen go through the door chen where have you been he walked right in and tay was looking at him like get your motherfucking ass in here you're supposed to start five minutes ago <laughs> Okay. Oh, I ain't see this. See, I can't see everything in the um in the um in the group. I can't. So here's a serving of some of the things. Things that sound like her. So she had green beans. You know, they're gonna have them obligatory green beans, honey. You buy the giant cans from Sam's or wherever the hell, and you you throw them in there, which is great because this is this is serving the homeless or you know, disadvantaged for sure. Um, there's Repo with his orange shirt on serving up food. He has on gloves. I like that. There's um Crook the Took standing back there. There's the chicken. Like how Miss Marion had last time I saw a chicken like this by being served by them was when Miss Marion had went and bought all those chickens and went back and shredded them up and helped her serve food. The ham, the ham looks good. Why y'all said the ham? The ham looks good. Okay. Uh, what is that in the background? I see. Are those like cupcakes? That's nice. Looks like she went to um store and bought some cupcakes, which is nice. That's nice. This is a nice gesture. This is a nice thing that she's done, and it is something that I'm sure that they appreciate it. Um, very, very much so. But the problem is, Carmen, that once again. You beg for cash apps. We nobody knows how much money you received and how much you spent, and um, you know the people want to know. You're a public figure, and I mean they even make what uh, the presidents show uh, records when you're a public figure. They want they like people want to know. They absolutely um, when you're talking about money, they want you to they want a level of transparency, whether they contribute it or not. You're a public figure, and inquiring minds want to know. That's what all the fuss and fuzz is about. Okay, buzz is about. You're not accounting for the money that you're spending. Okay. And it's everybody's business. Oh, they go to Jasmine Rice. That she done put a little bit of um sofrito on and a little adobo and sazon. She ain't do all that, but okay, that's nice. More turkey. I see some cookies and stuff in the background. Very nice. She's always talking about, oh, they don't want to see me feed. They'd rather everybody in the world die of starvation than to see me feed. That's a lie. I'm giving you a compliment. I'm saying this is nice. This is a great thing that you did with other people's money, but it's still nice that you did it because it's, you know, it's a nice thing. Nobody wants to see people homeless and hungry. That's some bullshit you made up. Mm -hmm. Okay. So there's that. I hadn't even seen this post. I can't. I can't see all the posts in the room. Um, short video. Let me see. I haven't seen this one either. That though they that only thing uplifting, um, Chef and Tay, um, Team Chef and Tay, Life According to Lena, um, and my good friend Darnell. Even though he's no longer on our team, Stephanie Allen, K Jack, Louis Beeman. Um, Trisha Jones, so many of you guys done so many of things to make this happen. I mean, those I want to thank each and every one of you that don't girl by Carmen. Let's see you do something out of your actual pocket that you don't, um, whatchamacallit, in. but just that you don't, don't what you call it. Hold on, I think we saw this one. This might be a different one. Look at it. Look at the windows. You can see outside the facility. You know what I'm saying? It's easy to put two and two together. Ma'am, you do not know me from Facebook. <laughs> you do not know me. I am not. I am not a chef on Facebook. I am not. I keep looking at you it's like I know you. Baskets up there compared to the ones that were donated and the ones um, that you got and all the money you got for the baskets. This is, I mean, this is just a, a handful of baskets. Fifteen. 20 at best. 
Pierce Space Rental Hospital by the hour in Oak, Lim in Oak Park, Illinois. Discover thousands of unique hospitals perfect for your production. <laughs> Y'all see that? Thousands perfect for your production. Okay, let me see. <laughs> the famous chef burnt the rolls on the bottom. Oh my goodness, they rented a hospital room. This is not a TP production. I cannot with them. Y'all see this one though? Thousands of hospitals, child, they see. Mm. <laughs> this might sound like something they would do. There's going to be a special place in hell for took and crook for the stuff they have done to people. It's just too merch for me. Lord, how do they sleep at night, child? Oh, what is this? Oh. I don't want to. Let me protect my eyes, child. Oh, I see that hair sticking up. Oh! Girl, you need to get your ass off the internet. Go work on building up your clientele. And stop um, worrying about whatever everyone says. You should know. You should be, You, my, as my grandmother would say, you old enough and ugly enough to know. She's actually, actually, you know what? I ain't going to say that. Um, Old enough and ugly enough, as my grandmother would say, um, to know that you cannot control what other people say. The only thing you can control is your reaction to it. That's it. So if you want to so-called redirect energy with your bullshit, all of these so-called sayings you be saying, you want to redirect energy, which can be done, but not by you. You need to um, focus on and worry about what Carmen is doing, whatever it may be, that might be right in her life. I don't know what that may be, but you need to focus on that, not trying to answer every single live, every single comment and put Carmen and Tay in this, this picture of where they are, two saints. They, they far from saints. They far from saints. Even the, the devil himself would be like, mm, I don't know about these two. Leave them in the hallway. Let me think about it. Like they, they are far from saints. They done did some heinous shit when it's here internet. So you sitting up there acting like they haven't or like they are these whatever. And y'all, you trying to field every comment. Like, nah, the shit's not going to stop. It's just going to, it's going to continue. And there's nothing you can do about it at all. And I'm talking about all the thousands of comments from people in all these groups and pages. You can't stop those people from, there's nothing you can do. People are going to talk. They're public figures. And guess who's eating off of all the talking also? Carmen and Tay, they're eating off of the, the gossip and you, bitch, don't act like you're not. So stop trying to act like you hate it so much. Like somebody said, go take. Take your grandbaby somewhere and do something constructive with him. Huh? Get offline. Go tend to your wife. She always in some kind of hospital somewhere, which I actually happen to like her wife. Um, I heard, like I said, I heard her talk for the first time the other day and she made, like, I understood what she was saying. I, I didn't know she sounds, you know, like she has some intelligence about herself. And um, I was pleasantly surprised because this one doesn't let her talk or she mocks her every time she says something, which is terrible. What about your household, your home? You know, all the shit that you got going on over there. Worry about you worry about all that instead of um trying to respond to everything on the internet. You look stupid and foolish for somebody who's supposedly a coach. Hmm? Okay. What was they saying on this one? Isn't is this the ham Carmen trying to cook for the Easter dinner this evening? <laughs> Girl, get offline. You're not gonna be able to do shit. It's thousands of people watching and looking. And talking, and you can't shut every last one of them up. Um, oh shit. Don't think I forgot about your ass, Lil Brown. Please believe I have it, and I still got that pipe and hot tea, and I'm gonna release it exactly when the time is right. Please believe that. <laughs> mm, um what happened to the five dollar sample bottles? They were supposed to go out on Monday. That were purchased. She was in the hospital, child, so conveniently. Oh my God, Lord have mercy! Now this one right here, baby. Y'all don't refresh your beverages. Have y'all refreshed your beverages? <laughs> because baby, this one right here. 
I don't even know that I have enough time, energy, effort, etc. Um, I see y'all buying these bags and y'all using y'all ten dollar code. Thank y'all. Make sure, listen, you guys. We have a new website for the bags. Um, I thought you was gonna get one on wheels. Okay. We have a new website for the bags, y'all. Listen to me. Listen to come, 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 come. We have a new website for the bags. And um, not a new website. I revamped it. And I redid the bags. All those long delays, weeks, months, long periods of times. Because the bags were too jam-packed with too many things. I was I like nice shit. Huh? Can we talk? Can we keep it real? Can we keep it about? I have always liked nice things. Always. They ain't never showed y'all my house and everything. Uh, the one that I sold. And please believe once this court shit is done, I'm going to buy another house. Okay. There's a time and place for everything. And they're going to be mad about it. Y'all going to be glad, but they're going to be mad. I like nice things. And so I was trying to make those legacy bags, the bags that I was selling from last year, same bags now, but different contents. So nice. I wanted to put everything in them. I wanted, I mean, I even put makeup wipes in those bags. Okay. Makeup wipes, shower caps, slippers, shower shoes, custom pajamas, Satin eye mask, satin eye, satin hair pillows. I wanted you guys to love the bags, but it was to my detriment because it caused so many delays with so many people. And I'm so grateful for the people who didn't go on another platform talking shit about me, trying to smear my business. Now y'all all got businesses that y'all also created. So let's see how your shit work out. And the shit people are gonna be talking about your brands and your shit and what you doing because it's coming. Um, but I appreciate all of you who had the common decency and courtesy to say, I know she's one person and she's trying to build an empire by herself. And, um, I'm not going to go and try to smear her name or say, I didn't get my bag. I didn't do this. I didn't. It's, it's far more people who got their bag, thousand over a thousand people, um, than the handful of people who did not. And it's not because I didn't want to, it's just because there was something with your oil order that a couple of things that might not have been in it was too much so what i did was um i took a lot of the stuff out of the bags this the bags are still the bags all right they're still elegant beautiful sexy um gorgeous bags all right gorgeous gorgeous bags and um what's in them are your essentials all right your robe your a gown for bed a night shirt gown whatever it is that i put in the bag um, and they won't be all the same. You know, I might get 50 gowns from Macy. I might get 20 gowns from JC Penney's or whomever, wherever it may be that I'm going to be getting your night shirts from, and, you know, simple night shirts. Um, but they will be in the bag. You know, this is something that you need for a hotel stay. Your robes, you've seen the robes. Y'all love the robes. Those of you who have your bags, um, you know, it's a labor of love, you know, working a business is very, very hard to do one business, but trying to do so much stuff is, um, it's a lot. So I, I, I redid a lot of things. And, um, so that the turnaround time now is just a few days instead of weeks or months. All right. So thank you guys who were all patient with me, um, during the time that, um, you were waiting on your bags and stuff and didn't go somewhere to try to defame me or come here and try to say shit. Um, it's literally just me doing so much and working so hard um, to make you happy and do it right the first time instead of sending you bullshit. And then, um, you know, then it's really a problem. So, but um, real quick, let me take this down. Um, here's the website. I've revamped it. Nice, fresh look. What's in the back? You get um, a rope, a nightshirt or gown, electric toothbrush. Everybody loves that. So you don't have to keep packing your toothbrush in your bags. This is your bag. This is your toothbrush for travel. Mouthwash, toothpaste, deodorant. So you get your toiletries and they are FAA compliant. Everything that goes in the bag. Beautiful colors. Um, this is the pink one. I think I might have the pink one here. This is the pink one. Lot, I sold a ton of these. Lots of people love um, this pink bag. It's gorgeous. Let's go down. So, um, here's the pink one. There is a neon green one, which is absolutely beautiful. 
Um, they're 175. This is like half the price that the other ones were. All right. So you still get this phenomenal bag. I thought about switching out the bag and doing something different, but the bags are so gorgeous and so just beautiful and amazing um, that I decided to keep them and take out a lot of the filler that were in the bags. So here's an, a, a lime green one, orange, red, if you're an AKA, um, the purple, lots of women buy these purple ones for their men. I got the roller bags now. You guys were asking about these. So these are 175. All right. I mean, the bag itself, let's, let me just be clear. The bag itself, you see the tag when it comes on it, $220.99. Okay. That's the tag on it from the company. So I'm not trying to, um, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm trying to give you as much quality um, for your dollar as I can. All right. The bags itself come with tags on it that say $220.99. These are wonderful bags. Um, there we have the rollers now. We have them in purple. Um, that green crock, which a lot of people love. All right. That's how the roller looks. All right. Um, we have them in the green crock and um purple and red. All right. And um, also got a nice aqua blue bag for you. Here it is. It's aqua blue snake skin. This is a beautiful, beautiful travel bag. It's just, it's the website. I made it a lot easier this time. I mean, it was easy before, but it had all these options. You only need to pick a couple of things. Let me know your robe size and your nightshirt size. That's it. All right. Right now it's $10 off while we're live. So it's $175. So it's $165 and free shipping. I mean, this is still a stupid, stupid good deal. It's half the price of the bags before. And um, yeah, the first five people, which I've, more than five people have already ordered. So the first five will get these 100% um, authentic silk masks and a body butters bag that I purchased from Miss Sherry. I'll put those in your bags too, just as a thank you for being the first five people. So um, $10 off. The Aqua Blue is gorgeous, isn't it? It's beautiful. It's $10 off. I, I certainly can appreciate the love and care that you put into the bags. Miss Bernadette has a couple of bags. She just bought one last week and she got it already. All right. Again, um, y'all have heard a lot of things about my bags online, but it comes from a, a hateful place of people who don't know shit about doing business. Um, certainly not um, business where you're putting your heart and soul into something and not half-assing something. They have no idea, no clue. Um, but these bags, the turnaround time is, um, just a few days and, um, certainly by a week you'll have your bags. So, um, a lot, a lot less stress on me because it was very stressful, um, doing everything and relying on vendors for this and that and, and the weight and all that stuff. So again, I'm so grateful to you guys, um, who have supported me on my business journey and, um, who have been absolutely patient with me um, as it pertains to your hair units and the bags. It is a ton of work, but I'm committed to it. And I thank you guys for your continued support. $10 off right now. The code is wheels up all together. No space and free shipping while we're on this live. All right. Um, the website I think is pinned below www.hotelsweetlife.com. Okay. So let me take this down. Um, let me take this off. This shit is hot. I remember being out and got her a god dang going comfy. Okay. Even if somebody gave it to her, she knows that I was ranting and raving about it. I would never copy um, off of my enemy. I, she considers me her enemy. So, okay. Um, You know what? We, we done talked about Carmen and Tay at the hospital enough. We don't need to see them in the hospital. Let's talk about burnt lips. Y'all got y'all. Y'all refilled y'all water bottle. Hmm. We ain't going to go in it on it too bad, but we we definitely, I mean, I would be remiss. All the shit she been doing on this here internet, I would be remiss if I didn't discuss it and bring it to light and talk about it to some degree. Okay, so Nikki has taken up this crusade. How long have we been on here, y'all? Hold on, let me look. Jesus Christmas. Two hours and 26. Nikki, a.k.a. Burnt Lips, a.k.a. all the other names y'all have for her child. Nikki... <laughs> Nikki has um, taken up this crusade, okay, with this lady named Pat, I think it's Patricia, um, who so-called came out the woodworks about Carmen and Tay 
and they know all this stuff about Carmen, Tay, Darnell, who has been very careful about withholding his identity from the internet. But she knows all this stuff about him that he told her. And I don't believe that for one motherfucking second. And, um, you know, all of these fanatical stories she got about Carmen stealing uh, boss lady's equipment and um, Carmen setting up her own niece and Carmen call uh, doing the police on Miss Mir- uh, on Carolyn's um, baby. And uh, Tay, Car- Tay told Miss Marion such and such a thing and Miss Marion ain't do nothing about it and so and so and so. All this fanatical bullshit. Now, this is the same lady who last year was on Darnell's page talking about some pastor and involved in some church church drama, okay? She has a very raspy voice. I did it before. Hold on. Hold the fuck on. Hold on. And baby, that smoker's voice, baby. I'm going to need you to go and get you a voice box, a new voice box, because that one you got ain't doing it. I don't drink or smoke. I don't drink or smoke. My voice is, is like this. I'm getting surgery. <gasps> did it all. I, know. I don't believe a motherfucking word of it. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. This lady has been on the scene and been messy on the scene, okay, for over a year. And now all of a sudden, you know all this miraculous shit about uh, 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 what Tay said and, 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 and what was... Uh, no, I don't believe it. Mm-mm. So Nikki um, has decided that she was going to pipe up because this is what she does. Now, Nikki, I need you to sit the fuck down. Nikki, who I have exposed and Chef Val has exposed and the scenes have exposed as a person who's been taking advantage of the senior citizens on this here good internet. Huh? I gave y'all the audio receipts. And the hardcore check proofs, which she just lied. She just lied about everything. We're going to show a couple of these lies tonight. Nikki is, um, Nikki has made it her mission in life to try to help this lady. Okay. To try to help her, even though this has not a bitch ass thing to do with her. She wanted to say she was a victim because they had people going after her and they paid her. So what? People went after me on their fucking behalf too, but you don't see me crying like a bitch on the internet about it. You ain't never seen me come up and I knew it, sisters. I knew it. I know that sisters. I know they pay somebody to come after me. I told y'all. You ain't never seen me do no shit like that, baby. One thing about me and two things for sure, baby. I take that shit. I dish it and I can't take it. Hmm? You ain't never seen me come up here and get dramatic over some shit that I know it, sister. I know they was the one who sent the people to my school to kidnap my grown ass nigga kids. Them grown ass niggas, they grown. Not the baby, he ain't. But that 18 year old, he that nigga's grown. Huh? He's grown. Why you lie? You want to run down and tell X, Y, Z, bitch, tell them the shit you be doing and why people be talking about you. You want to you wanna talk about somebody caught your kid's school and did? I did. I ain't use your child's name. I ain't that. I'm not, not, I'm not that dumb. I'm not dumb at all. But uh, I asked them about this alleged kidnapping because there are people on this live who lives in your fucking area and go kids who, whose kids go to your kid's school. Yes, I called and motherfucking asked him. Was there? I was concerned and I wanted to spread. The, we report the news over here, bitch. Was there an attempted kidnapping? Was there any commotion? Any question about any anything remotely close to 
um, somebody trying to pick up somebody else's school. And did y'all show one of the parents a video? Because they claim y'all showed them the video and everything of the car and the people. Absolutely not. They said absolutely not. And somebody lying like that to cause confusion to the public and lying about public safety can be put in jail. So when you out here running to these courthouses telling on people, make sure you fucking tell the whole story about why people saying and doing what they're saying and doing towards you. You leave that part out, bitch. Huh? You leave that out. <laughs> anyway. She has been calling. And I call everybody a bitch. She, she gets her feelings. Oh, she called me a bitch. First of all, you are a bitch. But I call everybody a bitch that is acting like a bitch. If you don't want to be called one, stop doing the shit you're doing. You, you be doing a lot of shit, but you don't want to be called a bitch for it. Anyway, so Nikki has made it her life mission to partner up with this. Down at the church where the pastor be fucking everybody. Girl, mm -mm. she done teamed up with this lady to take Carmen and Tay down. Carmen and Tay could have did it. So could have burnt lips. All the heat was on her about the singing citizen thing and Chef Val going to the police and this and that and the third. And this is a great diversion, a hundred percent. And so I'm not saying Nikki did it because I don't know if Nikki did it, but she certainly motherfucking has the aptitude. Okay. She has the aptitude and the motherfucking appetite to do something like this. Okay. It's on trend and on brand for her a thousand percent. So she, 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 she hates Carmen and Tay so bad, huh? She hates them so bad that she goes out in my mind, goes out <laughs> and finds this lady who's been a messy, messy mother of a church, messy mother. Okay. Church mother, um, uh, for over a year, starting shit and, and, and smoking Newports and, and chasing them down with Hennessy. Huh? This lady, she goes and finds someone who I don't find credible, believable. I don't find this lady believable worth for damn. Okay. And, 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 and again, deductive reasoning. I can deduce that she full of shit and, and, and messy by the lives that she was on of Darnell's last year. Huh? Okay. So she, she's taking up this crusade. Cause this is what Nikki, I'm Nikki Tubman. First of all, bitch. You're not. You need to stop doing what you're doing, scamming people, fucking with people, um, you know, trying to get people in trouble with the law. I ain't never seen a bitch from the streets do that. Now, I'm originally from the hood. Everybody knows this, okay? I'm a refined, well-spoken, educated woman now, but I'm still, I can get hood now. Oh, yes. Don't let the good diction fool you. I can definitely slink back into my fucking hood vernacular. Everybody knows this, huh? But, um, and I, 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 I know some people who've done some real treacherous shit in life. I'm uh, real treacherous. I'm gonna leave it at that. I ain't never went to the law on them. Uh-uh, but she do. Anyway, so she goes and finds this lady, um, who claims to know all of the things about Miss Marion and her family and that Tay told her and that Carmen also told her they got her these burner phones, baby. I ain't seen this many motherfucking burner phones since um, Miami Vice, bitch. Huh? Remember that show, Miami Vice? I ain't seen this many burner phones since NYPD Blue, bitch, with Malik Yoba. <laughs> Ooh, that's a fine man. I love me a nice chocolate man. I ain't seen this many burner phones. Huh? I ain't seen this many burner phones since Magnum P.I., bitch. Huh? I ain't seen this many. Supposedly, they sent, sent you all these burner phones and gift cards. Now, I know you lying about the fucking gift cards because they don't like giving out gift cards. They, they saw they allegedly kept the ones from the kids at the shelter. What the fuck they look like giving you some? And, 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 and cashiers, check first. It was money orders because you know that could be tracked down. Cashiers, check. Ain't she ain't took one picture. 
Bitch, you doing all this dirt, but you ain't. You took pictures of the burner phones, but you ain't take pictures of the cash. Just check. Bitch, where that's at? Huh? <laughs> where is that? Where are the pictures of uh, 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 of, uh, of the cashier's check since you was uh, 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 taking inventory of the evidence against them? Where is that? Oh, you can't find You ain't got one? Oh, okay. That's what I thought. I don't believe it. I believe, and I could be wrong because I don't know for a fact. I, let me see what Rochelle said. Hold on. I believe... <laughs> not Miami. <laughs> Come on, my my girl Roro, my big sis Roro said since Starsky and motherfucking Hutch, bitch, I ain't seen that many a uh, 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 burner phones. Okay. <laughs> um, I believe that Nikki has latched onto someone who um she knows will talk shit about Carmen and Tay. Perhaps Nikki's broke now, but she she, she you know she. <laughs> She she got enough uh, coins in her pocket to pay for a pack a carton of motherfucking Newports and some wild Irish rolls that this oh bitch oh come see come see come see that she could pay for some wild Irish rolls twenty twenty Mad Dog and a box of motherfucking um what's the cheapest cigarettes y'all know I don't drink a smoke child uh what's them shit called the bootleg version of Newports, whatever they are, poop ports. Huh? That's enough for this lady, as far as I'm motherfucking concerned. Um, so Nikki done last on to it to continue her crusade against Carmen and Say Child, and and to throw the attention off of her for all the shit she been doing. So let's Nikki claimed that she flew from where she live at, Tennessee to Houston to go and file some paperwork on them because, you know, she she, this is what she she claims she does. And then she turned right around and got back on a return flight, a boomerang flight. Huh? That's what we're going to call it. That bitch did a boomerang, okay? And um, and headed back to her little bungalow in Tennessee. <laughs> and then it came out that that was a lie. The lie detector test determined, bitch, that that was a lie, which we all knew. Because we ain't dumb enough to fall for the lies and the bullshit that Nikki be saying. Okay. Let's take a look at some of the lies. And then and then we're going to talk about how she... Um, let, Let's listen to some of her bullshit, y'all. Then we're going to talk about how she talking about... Act like she was talking to Papa Bear. And she forgot she had on glasses, mirror glasses. Bitch, you should have wore your Stevie Wonder joints this day. <laughs> There's a ribbon in the sky for our love. Oh, so long. <laughs> I'm sick of these holes on this. I'm sick of these holes on this internet, y'all. Oh, so <laughs> Oh, so long. On this flight, I pray. Bitch ain't flew nowhere. <laughs> that a follower would throw some cash apps my way. I'm going back on this same airplane. Bitch, please. You should have threw your Stevie Wonder joints on, bitch. Uh, acting like you're talking to somebody outside that car, huh? And not some damn straight up Rick James mirror fucking uh, 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 shades that you got from the gas station, bitch. Because we synced everything, which was nothing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> ah, we synced it all. Mm, and ain't seen nothing at all at the same time. How was that possible? <laughs> Uh, all right, let's take a listen. I don't even want to. I, I really want to skip to the one that Darnell did, child, because it was funny as hell. Let me see. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let's play this one, child. Let's play this one. Look at this bitch. She can She ain't even. She ain't even. Couldn't think of to drink water out of a canteen until she saw the show, child. Oh, that's a good idea, sister. Look at her. 
this is how I know. I've been knew Nikki was mentally ill, like for real, on some real shit. You know, you hear that term thrown around a lot, and you just, you know, people just saying it to be malicious. But she actually absolutely is. The fact that she copies everything off this page, literally down to a water cup with water in it, bitch, you ain't never in your life brought out a canteen like this ever. Um, doing her show opening like how I I created it in my I pulled it out of my own mind, okay. Um, doing her opening, saying all the things from Tater Head to Pound Puppy, everything, literally everything on her show is a carbon copy of this show from how she opened it to how she fucking closed it and everything in between. Only a mentally ill person would copy someone to the T like that who is their fucking arch nemesis and their enemy whose guts they hate. You got to be one mentally ill person to do some shit like that. Like something's not ticking and dying up there. But these videos the last few days, honey, it done confirmed everything I've been telling y'all about her. Let's listen to Raggedy Annie Ann with her red braids. Huh? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Y'all can't see, y'all can't see it right now. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Ribbon in the sky, bitch. Get them Stevie Wonder shades next time you want to act like somebody standing outside the car, bitch. That you're talking to. Hmm? You're just making, yo. This shit just. You're just making yourself with every video, every rant, every lie, all the bullshit. You're just confirming to people everything that I've been telling them about you. You unstable in all your ways, girl. This goes to show this the same person who said she ain't never did nothing to me. I just came out of her for no reason. I would never do that unless you're Carmen and Tay. And I have my my own personal reasons for that. Here, all right. I got my new. Okay, here she go. Hold on. I mean, on this phone. I can't play them on live on this phone. Welcome to Coffee Chat, where we talk about any and everything. Everybody shared. All right. I got my new police report number. I was in Houston. They told me I had to start it here first. And in order for me to press criminal charges, I got to come back there to do it. You heard me just tell the officer that. And I will be coming back to press criminal charges. All of y'all asses is going to have to deal with whatever. Because you love to play with people. So in order for me... Nikki, how are you filing criminal charges against people? When you the biggest criminal out there. I've never seen anything like this before. I ain't never seen this. You the biggest. You got so much shit that you're literally currently doing. Currently. Not shit you done did. Current actively doing. Huh? So everybody done did something at some point in their life. Whoever it is. Keep living if you have. To, that you're currently doing and trying to file criminal charges against people. Girl, your hands going to be cuffed too. Huh? They ought to be. And when it come out that you had something to do with Miss Marion's grandbaby, Carolyn going to beat the shit out of you. Mm, if you did, I don't know that you did. But if you did, she going to beat your ass. You better pray to God that you erased every record, every track. If you're responsible for it, she and whoever it is, whoever it is, she she's going to. I know they're going to handle it legally. Um, because they said they would. Miss Carolyn, her daughter, they ain't dummies. They don't suffer fools, sweetheart. But when this shit hits the fan and comes out, hmm, that same hell and jail you plan for me, bitch, you'll be in. Um, somebody said burnt lip, bitch, just copy and paste nothing original. A hundred percent. How is she able to file charges against her before in Texas, but now she's being told to file in Tennessee? She a lying ass. She be lying. Uh, wait, what's that comment? I wanted to put it back up. Okay, Missy Queen, hello. She said, um, I think Carmen's ex, uh-oh, has something to do with it. And she had the other one go on the cruise with them as well to ruin her birthday. That's just my opinion because she is on, she is in, she is in on the shade groups commenting on everything. Like she's still not over Carmen. Wow, I thought she went and back in her hole, child. I had no I'm sure she's watching the show. She watches everything pertaining to Carmen and Tay. But 
Um, I had no idea that she was still out there commenting and being active in the comments. I mean, I don't know about y'all, but when I'm done with an MF, that's it. That's it. No, I'm lying. I might take the nigga back once. Maybe. <laughs> Every woman has done it. And if you have not, you can't comp to that, you a lying ass bitch, whoever you are, sitting in the dark right now, trying to rub, rub on that dry ass pussy. Huh? With one city bigger than the other. That's another thing. She, I ain't even gonna get into it. She gets everything from this fucking page. You sitting in the dark with one city bigger than the other, rubbing on that dry tumbleweed ass pussy that needs a weed whacker to get that hair off of it. Huh? And um, lying. Talking about something. I ain't never took a nigga back. I ain't gonna never take nobody back. I ain't. Oh yes, bitch. And if you have it. Keep living. It'll happen. But um, you ain't going to get Once I'm officially done, ain't no way I'm going to be stalking him, talking about him, trying to do that. No, I would never do that. I would never do that. So I don't know what it is um, that she can't let go of about Carmen. I have no idea. I mean, at least once, Coach. Right. At least. <laughs> I'm putting my money on Scrappy. She did that low down shit. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm putting mine on Nikki. We need to start a pool. Now, that's what we need to do. We need to start a motherfucking pool betting on who did it. Mm -hmm. Who did it? Now, that's what we need to do. Because this is some heinous shit. This is low down. You going after somebody, baby? Whoever did it. I don't know that it was Nikki for sure. This is my guess. This is my bet. But whoever did it, I mean, baby, I know your pussy stank. <laughs> whoever did it. You got to be neglecting your personal hygiene, bitch, to put your energy into uh, trying to destroy a child's life or hurt somebody to go, go through their kids to hurt them. I know your pussy stank. Um, Silent watcher for the past year. What's up, boo? You done came out the bushes? Come through now. Come through, Miss G. What you got to say? I, I need to hear from you. Um, remember her saying that she's going to write a book. I guess the title is going to be Unsolved Mysteries. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Listen, Karen looks like she's about that life. She will knock the burn off of them. You mean that um lady who be cooking? Oh yeah, they ain't playing. Scrappy for five hundred, Andy. Send me a motherfucking send me fifty thousand. <laughs> Slide me 50 thou <laughs> at work trying not to laugh. Okay, boo, let them know. She said she's been in the bushes watching, but she done crept out. Welcome, sweetheart. What? She said she team coach Nandy, bitch. She don't give a fuck what they say about me, how they say it about me, what they think about me, what they spread about me, who they trying to get in touch with about me. She don't give a fuck. None of y'all do. Uh-huh. Um, I do appreciate that. So let's okay, okay, okay. Let's look at this. Let's look at this with y'all, because I don't even want to take y'all all the way through. Um, all of the shit Nikki saying in this car, pretending like she talking to um, a hey, what's we call? Let me read this. This lady's delusional. How in the hell she in Houston last night? Then flew back this morning. Told the cop she was going to Houston. Peep the pink tumbler she's drinking out of every morning. Right, like us. Um, she can't never. She ain't never left Tennessee and acting like um, Barry with her. Girl, Barry can't leave the state. Neither can I. Huh? Oh, yeah, I'm going to tell whatever business I can in mind that I'm going to tell y'all, I'm going to motherfucking tell y'all. But I ain't got no motherfucking curfew. I ain't got no motherfucking bracelet on me. I ain't even got a y'all claim I got a probation officer. That's a motherfucking lie. No, I don't have a pretrial diversion professional. And um, I didn't even got to go and talk to them every month or every day or whatever it is. I pay my little fine or whatever. Um, talk to him. And yes, that was part of the agreement. Stay the fuck away from CBS, which I never had a pension for to begin with. That's the part y'all, that's the gag. So, bitch, I'm going to talk about myself. Who the fuck, when you talk about yourself, huh? Maybe if you talk about them singers and how you finesse them and shit, maybe it'll die down. Nobody can't hold power over you. No motherfucking body. Huh? Um, 
somebody said welcome to the teammate she's been a teammate she said she's been here for over a year okay okay okay. listen so nikki pretended that she went out and flew out and this and that and the third which is all bullshit but she also let me go to let me see if i can go to our now speech hold on hold on here it is okay y'all y'all Y'all, now this is the one, if you did not know how imbalanced, unbalanced, uh, and cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs this lady truly is, it's so much so, like, I've been to this, but I'm glad that y'all are starting to get, you know, more and more breadcrumbs. This a whole low fucking breadcrumb. Y'all, the way this lady, this is what she does all the time. Like, she pretended she was talking to a neighbor the other day who was walking by, but her window was up. She forgot to roll the window down and said, oh, your, uh, your uncle over there, tell him to come see me. Bitch, your neighbors don't fuck with you. They don't fuck with you at all. Don't ask me how I know. They, they, that's the word on the street. Um, Oh, he's a police officer. Bitch, you don't want no parts of a police officer knowing anything about you and that bungalow and what's going on inside. But if y'all didn't know before, what Nikki, how she is, and how how, how um, deluded, deluded, okay, and delusional she is. This right here is everything you need to know. You can forget everything else that was ever said. All right, y'all pay close attention to this. Okay, this is um, Nikki was in her car acting like she was talking to Papa Bear, talking about how he follows her everywhere. And the fact that we know, because she had on these mirror glasses, the fact that we know nobody was standing there that she was acting like she was talking to, lets me know that everything you said about Papa Bear is bullshit, bitch. Because she told me something, oh, Papa Bear follows me everywhere I go. He follows me. He can't get enough of me. He follows me. He's all over me. And, huh, okay, that's all right. Looks out the window, but we can see in the mirror glasses very clear. Not a creature was stirring, not even a motherfucking grizzly bear. Nobody was there. But she wanted to make the people believe that Barry followed her to wherever she was and was being protective of her. So he's probably the complete opposite since you lied about it. Follow her there. He don't give a fuck about you. Barry is laid up. You said that he y'all do your each other. He do him and you do you. Um, let me show y'all. Because this right here, it's not even, it, it, of course, it's not a fair fight, period. If she was in, within her right mind, it's not a fair fight between Nikki and myself at all, obviously. But it's it's like one of those things where you don't beat up the slow kid. You know what I'm saying? It's not a fair fight. It doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel like somebody um, worthy of a tit for tat because you clearly clearly need help and are off your fucking rocker big time all right y'all let me know if y'all can hear it see she probably heard papa bear voice in her head probably child she was in the parking lot a lot of dollar general okay <laughs> bird and my best tammy voice will be there protecting his wife uh-huh okay here we go here we go mm. pay attention because darnell slows it down you can look clearly, clearly in her glasses. Hold on, let me see. It's a real song. Um, okay, here we go. Everything. So you when I finish playing, do you did you just hear what I finna play it? Do you hear me? So Miss Pat just out here, just 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 she just out here like cook boo boo the food. Hold on, Dottie. Don't worry about it. Pop bear follow me everywhere, baby. Hold on, Dottie. Don't worry about it. Pop bear follow me everywhere, baby. Hold on, Dottie. Look at the glasses. Not one person in the fucking reflection. Don't worry about it. Darnell slowed it down. Follow me everywhere, babe. Now, one person outside that car, child. 
everything. So you, when I finish playing, do you, did you just hear what I'm finna play it? Do you hear me? So Miss Pat just out here, just, 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 she just out here like cook boo boo the food. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Girl. Don't worry about it. Pop that follow me everywhere, baby. <laughs> Hold on, Daddy. Ooh, she ain't expect her now with the Don't smoke. worry about it. Not one person in them glasses, child. Pop there, follow me everywhere, Not baby. one person in the reflection. Hold on, Daddy. Don't worry about it. Pop there, follow me everywhere. Well, baby. Not one person in the reflection of those glasses, which were very clear. They're like mirror glasses, baby. Next time. Oh, so long on this flight, I pray that Barry would literally love me one day. I'm just lying and looking completely cray. Bitch, you are lying. You better put them black, dark out glasses so nobody can see the reflection in the motherfuckers next time, bitch. Oh, yes. Complete nut, they said. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't believe that lady told her shit. Now, for a second. Mental for sure. Uh-huh. The Lulu for real. Uh-huh. Papa Bear along with the three bears trailing her at the, st the gas station. Mm hmm Nikki, you need to stop, girl. I ain't even gonna fuck with you no more. I had to tell this story because you're running all over Facebook looking fucking crazy, okay? I'm not even gonna fuck with you no more. You got your hands full lying uh, about what this lady told you about Carmen and Tay. I don't believe it. Um, You got your hands full with that. And you're gonna have your hands full with these senior citizens, Um, you know, with the charges and this and that. I did everything I could do, okay? Um, And you know, presenting y'all with the proof and this and that. You are, you got your hands full. Your son about to graduate from college. Your nigga's on the run, huh? And um, you need to tend to the mental health issues. How you got so much time to be online and you ain't even monetized? It's crazy to me. Huh? That one ill begotten motherfucking page that's monetized, maybe, because I ain't seen no ads on it, but then I don't be over there that often. Um, where you purchase the followers, like everything about you is full gazy as fuck. And you got the nerve to be trying to run around and get somebody in trouble. That's crazy to me. I talk my shit, but you don't see me trying to run around and get motherfuckers in trouble. Uh-uh. No. I went to the uh, police one time when Carmen threatened my life and that's worthy. You'd be a So when you do what you do, it's documented. But the shit you doing? fucking with them for so long and went to Houston to try to fuck with them and y'all forgot about that and everything else she's doing you are not a fucking victim bitch you are a fucking troll from the deepest darkest dankest pits of hell fucked up I can't even talk about you no more I can't even fuck with you anymore it's not fair okay Lose, but it ain't fair. Let me put it like that. So, um, I'm going to go ahead. Videos or some shit about you. And we're going to say, mm -hmm. I ain't going to say nothing. Um, unless and until I feel like fucking saying something about your ass. Because I know you ain't got the good. We do something else. Uh-uh. We just going to watch and say, mm -hmm. Okay. And my best Tina Turner voice. G said in the bushes I go. 
All right, guys, let me get off of here. You Don't forget, baby. Let me stop. Let me put this back up. Don't forget, we got a brand new overhaul of the hotel suite. We set up for our bags. The bags are shipping out. All the orders that came in today while we were on live. Your, what's today? Monday? I mean, not Monday. Today's Monday. Today's Thursday. Um, your you'll get your bags on next week for sure. And your accessories will come in a couple of days. You'll have everything within definitely 10 days. So it's not going to be weeks, months, years, you know, it's just too much with the bags before, but, um, same beautiful bags, um, less hassle, shorter wait times. You basically get your bag almost instantaneously. Um, I don't have to do as much with the bags um, this time around, but you're going to get a, a robe. A nightshirt or nightgown, nightshirt or nightgown, electric toothbrush that you don't have to keep packing your toothbrush in and out of your bag every time you travel somewhere. Mouthwash, toothpaste, deodorant. Okay. Uh, we got the bags on wheels now, too, which is a wonderful, wonderful thing because y'all have been about on me about these bags on wheels. This one is the green croc. And there it is. It's beautiful. You can't deny these are beautiful fucking bags. And the contents inside, you need them for your um, you need them for the sweet life, sweetheart. All right, different process for getting the bags out and stocking them and all that stuff, right? Totally different now. Um, the bags go out almost instantaneously, within days for sure. All right, um, so let me get on off of here. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to another episode of Nandy After Dark. I appreciate the engagement and, um, you know, um, for you guys for being here. The website's hotelsweetlife.com, S-U-I-T-E life.com. Uh, the Insta Braids, InstaBraids.net. All right. Thank you guys again for your patience. Thank you for rocking with me. Thank you for your continued support. Um, I'm out here trying to make shit happen, not online, begging y'all for no reason. Just send me some cash so I can sit here and eat in your face. Huh? I don't do that. Um, send me cash apps. That's for my performance on this show, but I'm not just going to ask you for cash apps. Just, you know. We'll do that over here just to eat in your face. Listen, thank you guys. I appreciate and love you. Um, and I'll see you on the next episode of Nandy After Dark. Bye. Mm. Mm-hmm. <laughs>